Where we at? Where we at? Pop up shop. Come in for a little bit, man. See what's popping with you boys before the big game today. I said I wasn't going to do any more content on this game. However, I don't know. I just can't stop thinking and talking about it, man. I can't, can't wait for this game. I should have slept to like 325 in the afternoon, right? We at, where we at? Tate in the house. Pop-up shop time. I told you boys to always be prepared. So I says game day. Got my phone thing going on here. I know I'm tripping. Stuff in silent mode. Ooh, it is in silent mode. Don't know what's going on there. Let's get it. Michael says it's going to be the best game of the year. Jane says go Gators. He's in here chilly. Then everybody up in here chilly. Oh, man. It's Gator-centric. Gator-centric. Your boy, I think your boy's quietly come in and been one of the worst uh, commenters. He's asking fan questions and stuff like that. We don't do that. First Mizzou Super Chat. What the hell? Love your overall content. Thank you, Alex. A Mizzou Super Chat. Wow, that's out of nowhere. I've never, ever done anything. I don't think I've ever said Missouri's, the word Missouri on the channel. This dude came in and said, roll tide twice. And he just, he's like, man, let's get blocked. He's like, block me, Murph. How's the sound going? I forgot to check the mic. What's up? What's up? How we sounding? It's on Gator getting respect today. Limited use of Fab Five today. Sounding Chris says, Luke, thank you. I appreciate it, Jay. B. Wyman, Madison, Ava, Stewart. Steve, Austin, Pat. All right, y'all. So let's get some of these last words in. Um, uh, hopefully you guys saw the content yesterday when I did the what was it, twenty minute breakdown. Yeah, that 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 took a while to do. That took a while to do. Took a lot out of me. What's up, Con Lee? What's going on, man? Um, all right. So I want some of you guys to throw out some stuff right here and we're going to volley back and forth and see what's going on right there. Remember, super chatters get priority and we can go from there. So you guys have heard my thoughts. Obviously, I'll chime in. But what are you guys thinking about? What's some of the, the key things that you're thinking about? Obviously, I put up in there uh, Kadarius Tony coming back. Um, if he does come back, uh, how much will he be used and will it be a factor of any any kind? Uh, the Fab Five, y'all see the Fab Five? John? Y'all asked for the nobody said nothing, right? Y'all asked for the Fab Five Jones. Look, they're here. Fab Five, you see it right there. Fab Five, your boy Fab Five in the house. All right, so, um, Fab Five, will he be sprinkled in? Or well, what can that do for Georgia? Like I said before, routinely Georgia has struggled with switch ups, right? Quarterback switch ups in the in games in its biggest games, SEC championship game, national championship game, in consecutive years. Uh, will a switch up like that, right? It's not going from and this either way, right? Going from a pocket passer to a guy who can be more of a dual threat or from a dual threat to a guy who can be more of a pocket passer. We've seen them struggle with both. Uh, imagine that. So uh, what do you think he could be in? J where's Jabari in um, Grenard? What's up with them? Tyson Campbell coming back. How much does that impact Georgia, right? Who can run with Tyson Campbell? I don't think they they built a, re a receiver who's faster than Tyson Campbell. Um, so what type of impact does he make there, right? And the thing about this, I, I was people. I, I know people are going to be like, "Man, you should nickel and dime Georgia." I'm not so sure that's what you what Georgia struggles with, right? I think Georgia plays the quick game very well with his cornerbacks. The further the ball goes downfield, that's when it becomes scary for Georgia, right? So if they think they're going to just quick game the, the, out of Georgia, I'm not so sure that works. To be honest with you, I think that plays into Georgia's favor. But where we at right here? Demetrius, what's going on? Go dogs! I'm going to be in the building in Jacksonville. Dogs by 14. Yeah, he said dogs about 14. Now that's that may be a little ambitious there, but you never know in games like this, man. We've seen some crazy stuff. Whoever thought that Georgia would win that game where um uh who was it? When Treon Harris had like five, six throws, and then Matt Jones and um Kelvin Taylor had about a thousand yards apiece. Uh you never know in these kind of games, these rivalry games, man. You can do all the analysis that you want. Just <laughs> you just never know. Con Lee back in the game. What up? UJ running backs getting chunk plays will be key. UJ 24 to 17. Dang. Oh, Cager's back. All right. So, Cager, that's what's up, man. Uh, Cager being back. Obviously, he's a, like a security blanket. Um, 
He's not. He's going to make contested catches, right? That's what he does. Or he's going to attempt to make contested catches, which I think that he can. He can do right. But can anybody separate, right? Can anybody make, get a chunk play from Georgia? That's what I want to know, right? I, I definitely like. What's up with this road tie shit, bro? We're not talking about that. Like you thought you would come in here and say that, and that's going to be cool. Like, what's up, people? What's up with grown ass? That's a sissification of America today, man. I thought this was America, people. What up, Manuel? Or Manuel? The Gators are hungrier, Bulldogs are complacent and satisfied. And explain this to me. Why are why is Georgia complacent? Pull the receipts, my man. I'm going to, have to concentrate on you right quick. Rosewood, why is Georgia complacent and, and the Gators are hungrier? How do you determine this? Road, roll his ass up out of here. Road tied his ass up out of here. I think I'll just do that. Thank you. You're right. What can someone like that uh, contribute to any type of um, whatever? Yeah, so your boy is definitely the, the worst uh, commenter to come. And I went back and looked at the Super Chat. He was being annoying, saying the same shit over and over and everything like that. He's asking me who I have winning, right? So he's a live stream seeker. I freaking put out a 20 minute video yesterday and you should know my everything thoughts on this game. 20 minute video. I went through every aspect that I possibly could and said who I think will win and everything like that. Don't just jump on live streams. Don't be a live stream seeker. This is a football film channel. I'll stop doing live streams way before I would ever stop breaking down football film for you guys. So don't be like this dude. Watch the content. Don't just jump on here because you see a live stream. Who you want me to get out? I'm going to take from now on. We're getting people out from the from the uh, from the gallery. It'll be like uh, the dilly dilly people or whatever like that. Dilly dilly. Y'all tell them we get them out. All right. So UGA is going to come out pissed off. Where's my man at, though? That said the Gators have been fighting to regain the top. Georgia seems to be a bit satisfied in their success. How sway? Yeah, I think you're just throwing stuff at the wall right there. I don't find that to be the, the case at all. If you if if you know anything about that team, that team is fighting and struggling and really wants to go, um, and, and really want to go hard right there. So I don't I don't think that they're satisfied where they're at, not by any stretch of the imagination. I think you're trying to fool yourself. They just could very well win this game, but they ain't got nothing to do with anything with Georgia. It'll be them outplaying Georgia. It's Georgia's about to come to play. Florida's about to come to play, and that's why it's the truth. Wavy DC, you know, you you know what I'm saying? You know me and you ain't on, on good terms, bro. He pop up in here every once in a while. He he try to acknowledge that I don't say this every time he comes up in here. Come on, Wavy DC. I feel like you owe me something, bro. You said you was going, you never even super chatted, baby. You said you was going like a year and a half ago. You was like, man, I'm going to join the Patreon site. Like, it ain't about that. You know what I mean? It's about sticking to your guns and, and being a man of your word. What, what, what we at? Where we at? Man, what says I need that five shot, five, five shirt back there. You want the five, five shirt? You know how to get them. Murph Ball on that gmail.com. Don't, don't hit your boy up. If you ain't got the, the means, if you ain't got the means, you got to your stream. Like the stream got to do anything. Your boy, watch the content on the channel. I just did a damn 20 minute breakdown on this game yesterday for content piece. How many people out there watch the actual content on the channel? And how many people out there just want to just, you know what I'm saying, stream, live stream and talk? Let me know. But my boy Spence, Spence is my dude, man. Spence followed me right back since the Alabama days, right? We were all in the Alabama scheme team when I had that content popping. 27 to 21 Florida. I think their wideouts are the difference, says Spence. Very well could be right there. Very well could be right there. Hangook Rage. Grenard and Zaniga will be the difference. Man, I can definitely... I can I can I can definitely see them being a difference for sure. No doubt about no doubt about that. However, guess what? This will be this will be the game, right? That even if um, Grenard and Zaniga were healthy, they could very well not be as impactful as they would be against other teams because they're gonna go against the best offensive lineman they faced all season. So make sure you put that put that. Wavy super chat if <laughs> he said I owe you, bro. <laughs> Wavy, you do owe me. And you, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You told me to hop back in the way game. I mean, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling right now. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's with nothing popping with Wavy. What's up? I think y'all going to start calling me Wavy Murph. I'm going to take your name. I said, my bad, Bill, and I'll watch them later. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to watch the content. I care the content is way better than the live stuff. 
dang, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know whether to, to apply that. I don't know whether I don't know whether to thank you or shank you. That's what we say back in the day. I don't know whether to thank you or shank you. But hey, as long as you can enjoy what you can enjoy. As long as you're still watching the stream, though. So all right, all right. Jowl in the house. All right. So in a straight up matchup, right? For people who understand the trenches of the sport, who would you take in a matchup between John Grenard and Andrew Thomas? I want to know out there. How many people even know who Andrew Thomas is? How many of you people even know who John Grenard is? I want to see if we have some real football heads in the house. Wavy says Thomas. Manise says Thomas for sure. I don't know about for sure. Up check. Oh, man, my bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Up check. Thumbs up check, says Conley. Make sure you get the thumbs up. I'm so sorry. Y'all supposed to come in and immediately do that. Let's get this bad boy. Whoever's watching this bad boy, 100 and whatever people are watching, let's get it there. Just hit the thumbs up, man. I know you lurkers in there hate liking. Stop hate liking. Augusta says, can we get some likes for my boy? Get some likes out here. Let's get this bad boy popping. Thank you. Give me the thumbs up and tell me you did the thumbs up. And we got a lot of Andrew Thomases. Come on, let's get the thumbs up. Let's talk football. I'm giving y'all that and giving y'all the goods. I even got the Fab Five shirt right here. Come on. $30 on the Fab Five, John. You people ask for it. Murph, can we get a Fab Five shirt? I don't know how to stop my watch from making alerts. I'm struggling. Grenard will have his moments. I saw one that say Grenard in, on third and long and Andrew Thomas in the run game. I actually think that might be the reverse of that. I believe that Andrew Thomas is a much better pass blocker than he is a run blocker. I think that's why he's being thought of as a first uh, top five pick. Um, it's not because he's run blocking. He's a pass blocker. That's what he does. Andrew Thomas is a top 10 to 15 draft pick, says SC Dog. He definitely is that. We're for sure. Come on, man. Let's get it to 50. That's all you guys got? You guys are some premature evaluators, man. Let's get this bad boy up to 50 likes. Let me go back here and get a thumbs up check. Austin and Augusto, Nicole. Nicole, where you come from? You just, you a live stream signal, Nicole? We ain't seen you before. Um, so it's probably a, um, when your name is, it probably means you've been blocked before. Alex Cameron, uh, Emily, I want to say. Uh, Manish, as always. Randy, James A. Winston in the house. Fictions. Uh, Hangout. Ben Wyman, B. Wyman, B. Wyman be up in the crib. B. Wyman had to, um, he had to atone for his sins, you know what I'm saying? Me and B, I think me and B. Wyman had an altercation. Uh, Vinny P., uh, Cameron, Charles, Hunter, Roland, T. Mac. Hey, man, you did it twice. Wavy DC, anointed. Joe John Smith, appreciate the hard work and all the breakdowns, bro. Thank you, Joe John. I appreciate all you boys. I'll take 65320 over 63263, says Jal. That ain't got nothing to do with it. You know who else is around 6'3, 263 pounds? That would be Von Miller. <laughs> and I wouldn't take any tackle in the NFL over Von Miller. He would bust their ass. That's what Von Miller does. So I don't think that the size or anything has to do with anything. It's about the talent level. So I wanted to know about Andrew Thomas's talent level and John Grant. Can he? Take a John Grenard and just completely eradicate him from the game. If they do that, right, we've seen without John Grenard and without Jabari Zaniga, the Gators' defense looks way different, Why? Right? However, we've only seen that against certain type of um, – with them together, though, we've only seen them together against certain type of teams, right? This would be uh, – you would say with the LSU game, you would think that Georgia could be on par, but as far as a matchup goes, uh, Georgia's offensive line is even better than LSU's offensive line. So from that standpoint, uh, you can say that LSU's a better team or whatever like that, or I wouldn't say better team, a better passing outfit. But that offensive line, that's that's way different. They haven't seen anything like that, right? The Kentucky game, right? The Kentucky's offensive line is, is pretty decent, but nothing like Georgia's. All right. Where we at? Alex says, let me get on the wrench mob. <laughs> Baby, how many times have we ever said your name for you to be on the wrench mob? Your boy up here thinking of talking about Alabama. All right, so how long does uh, your boy get, right? Anybody that's a mod in here? Because usually I think somebody like your boy would be been on, um, he'd be benched by now. We're talking about Georgia and Florida. What is he talking about Alabama and LSU for? All right, man, we're going to have to do something about that. Mr. Florida boy, what's going on? 
All right, so let's let's switch that up. Jabari Zaniga. Does anybody know who Ben Cleveland is, or anybody know who Cade Mays is? Usually, traditionally, they're playing Jabari Zaniga out of five technique, so he would be right over the tackle, right, right on the outside shoulder of the tackle. Who wins that matchup between Jabari Zaniga and Ben Cleveland, or Jabari Zaniga and Cade Mays at the right guard spot? The run game benefits from Solomon, then Thomas. Yeah, Solomon Kinley's the best. I told you, I think he's the best offensive lineman on the team. But nobody's going to give that to a left guard. Zaniga, eight out of ten times, says Wyatt. Tyree says Cade Mays is a beast. Mays and Zaniga, a toss-up. Wow, for real, Manish? Y'all think that much of Cade Mays? Because Zaniga is one of the best players in the country. Garrett says Zaniga. It's hard because the nigga is not 100 percent. So that's something that's a that's a great that's a great question. Uh, that's a great um, that's a great analysis, Mr. Florida boy. So think about that. Suppose Jabari Zaniga is at 75 percent. What about a 75 percent Jabari Zaniga versus a 100 percent Kate Mays or 100 percent Ben Cleveland? Big Ben. Grantham is Dr. Pressure today. He's Dr. Pressure every day. He's really Dr. Pressure, though, when he can get in some man coverage. Do y'all think that we'll, we'll, we'll get to that right quick? Janiga was limited last year, except for the goal line stand. That is, that is, he was limited, but man, they had so many. Going back and looking at the game, man, that Florida team was loaded. There's a reason why that team won 10 games. And you add, think about right now, if you added in CC Jefferson and Jakob Polite to this team and Vashon Joseph, Vashon Joseph, that team was loaded. So maybe he didn't stand out as much or whatever like that. But yeah, he did definitely st stood out on the goal line stuff. So at only 75%, I don't think I'm taking Zaniga, says. Is it Emile? Let me know how to say your name. I don't like pronounce, mispronouncing people's names. Is it Emile? CJ struggling this year with tackles. Just Madison. Oh, yeah. I miss Joseph as a Florida fan, says Wyatt. Sean Joseph was the man. I missed all them damn um, offensive linemen. I went back. I'm like, damn, I forgot all these offensive linemen was on the team. If somehow all those guys were were to come back, if they were all juniors that year and they came back for their senior year, I think we'd have very much seen Florida very uh, kind of like Georgia was in 2017, right? I think Florida had been a national championship game. They brought back Polite and all them boys because then the death, right? Then you're not even bringing in guys like Chris Bogle, right? They're just there. Um, at the end of games and blowouts and stuff like that. So it's going to be about creating quality death for your man, uh, the hacker, Nam Mullen, because if he's able to get a team just like that, where all those guys come back in pivotal years, the sky's the limit. Florida's a scary team right now anyway. Zach Schwan, Florida fan here, can't wait to watch this slugfest. Like you always say, defense needs to get hands-on man. Nothing easy. Thank you, man, for sure. Hands-on man. But we got to pause. We got to pause that every time we say it. Because some of them other dudes are like, ooh, they talking about getting hands-on me or something. I like this top billing guy. What's up with Brent? Damn, man, they broke the Brent and Cox streak. You going to keep asking about Brent and Cox? You won the 56th game of the season. I'm pretty sure Brent and Cox probably not playing, bro. Why you still asking about him? I think it's over. Y'all gonna have to let that go. Y'all gonna worry about 2020. Live from Jacksonville, Jermaine Dunbar. Should have started trash at the beginning of last year. Man, that's hard. And they broke the damn cock streak, man. We was we was good. I think it was three straight streams without somebody mentioning him. Janika was hardly 50% versus LSU. And he played for like eight plays and still had two tackles for off and one tackle. Definitely for sure. But guess who he was going against? That would be Austin Deculus. There's no Austin Deculus on Georgia. Austin Deculus would be like the ninth or tenth best offensive lineman at Georgia. That's for real. Costa isn't playing this year. Says Luke Terry. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all are tripping. Should the um Eric Stokes plus Tyson Campbell plus JRE plus no? See, I lost him. The Nick was going good. He said, <laughs> he said Eric Stokes. I'm like, okay, that's gangster. That's one of the best, if not the best, corner in all of football. Tyson Campbell, he has a lot of shit to him, right? A lot of speed, very hype player, whatever like that. Hadn't really performed up to snuff, but he's talented. Then he says JRE, one of the best safeties in the country. Then he says freaking Richard Rubber Band Man LeCount. Sorry, bro, you completely lost me there. Just that alone right there makes me be like, man, I should switch my pick. 
Richard LeCount, not that good to me to be mentioning like that. Let's get it. TBE Saturday finally here. Real football heads. JR Fly in the house. JR Fly be making it go, go pop, pop. JR Fly, aren't you a mod? Go ahead and see. I guess they'll put wrenches on the um. I'm glad you're here. We need we need mods. Tyson still has a lot to prove, says Dirty Bastard. Austin Deckless Ben Doodoo says B Wyman. Austin Deckless definitely shouldn't. Austin Deckless, I wonder how good Austin Deckless would be at guard. That's what I want to. Yeah, JR Flies on Rich Game. David Reese going to have to show up. All right, so here we go. I want to do matchups on here. That's a good point. So people, when they do these matchups, they always think about this, right? When they do a linebacker, they be like, all right, David Reese versus DeAndre Philly Flyer Swift. Is it that? Georgia, Georgia is a team that's traditionally running inside zone. Come on up to the second level. Suppose it's David Reese. Not suppose. It will be. David Reese versus Solomon Kenley or Trey Hill. Guys, come on up to the second level. Can David Reese get off tackles? Is that his game? We know he's missed the freeze. When he hits you, he put that freeze on you, and your shit is over, right? But what about that, right? It's not him versus Swift. I'll be honest with you. If it's him versus Swift in the open field, I don't think it's a chance that David, uh, that your boy David Reese will be able to corral a DeAndre Swift. But can he make it physical? Can he get off blocks, especially with a big dude like Solomon Kenley, who I think is top five lineman in the entire country? Nobody even really knows his name. Tay Crowder will be the difference maker, says Anthony. Florida will target Campbell and LeCount if they're smart. That's exactly who I'll go for. I would avoid... JRE, Eric Stokes over there, and I will continuously, just like they did Derek Stingley, I will continuously go after Tyson Campbell if he's on that side or DJ Daniel. And I will put Van Jefferson on there. I don't think Tyson Campbell has anything to offer Van Jefferson. But you also have to be able to get the pass off. Reese is more of a downhill linebacker. I don't see him shaking blocks, though, says Luke. Christy says Nolan Smith. What about Nolan Smith? You just wanted to name whoever the latest five star is? Anybody naming Nolan Smith before they say Aziz Ojolari? I know that they're just they're just um pocket watch. <laughs> they're doing the uh, f- recruiting version of pocket watch. Name the people who have been balling. That would be Aziz Ojolari. Not saying Nolan Smith can't do anything, but man, give props to the guys who have been balling. No, Aziz Ojolari is a problem. I'll say this: people talking about how good John Grenard is. Is John Grenard better than Aziz Ojolari? I would say for Z's, Z's been in his second year, he may be John Grenard's equal. That's how that's how um talented he is. Christy says, damn, Murph <laughs> was asking what you think. Why don't you ask me what I think about Aziz Ojolari? Well, we always got to talk about true freshmen. I want to talk about the guys who make significant impacts. Aziz Ojolari, I'm telling you, that dude is the absolute, he's an absolute monster, but he didn't get the fanfare that Nolan Smith got. Christy says, I can't spell his name. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll give you a mulligan since you can't spell his name. Um, I think Nolan Smith, obviously, he's a talented player. Uh, I wonder if – I don't – I'm not sure. I don't think he's too light in the low for – he just looks lost, man. That's the thing about this. When you go to a 3-4 defense and you've traditionally been a defensive end your entire life, right, he didn't – he never played linebacker. If you watch Nolan Smith, he's not just rushing upfield. He's having to cover hooks and curls. He got flat zone duty. Uh, he's doing different drops and stuff. That's different on you. It's not just rushing all the time in a 3-4 defense as a stand-up line of scrimmage player. So I think he's adjusting to being that. And, and I think Oz, Oz, Aziz Ojolari has kind of mastered it. And Aziz is the truth against the run. Van Jefferson is a mismatch for anyone. That kid is righteous. Now, I don't think he's a mismatch for Eric Stokes. I would love to see them shadow. I would love to see Eric Stokes on shadow duty with Van Jefferson. That would be hard. Don't come in here asking about Bama and LSU. We got a fucking game right now with Georgia and Florida. You talk about some shit that we can talk about next week. Come on, man. What's wrong with these people, man? That's disrespectful to the game itself. We're going to have all kinds of talk about Alabama and LSU next week, but it's not their time. We got, what, four hours? I'm hyped about this game. I don't want to talk about Bama and LSU. Who the hell is Aziz Ojolari? Give me Grenard. That man is a leader. Yeah, I think you better look him up. Hell, who has more sacks between Aziz Ojolari and John Grenard? Since you don't know who he is. What is a buck like Grenard? What does that mean? A buck is just whatever that is in their in their specific defense. All you got to do is look at. That's what I'm saying. Don't look at shit. Don't call shit buck. Don't call shit jack. Is it a weak side line of scrimmage player or is it a strong side line of scrimmage? They, I, I try to make shit as basic as I can for people, right? 
some of these other dudes, right? They can't make shit basic for people because they never they never play. They don't know how to. They they're regurgitating what they either read somewhere or they heard someone else say. I try to make it simple for you. Does he play on the closed side of the line of scrimmage, or do they have him playing against like maybe like a uh, I'm traveling with a tight end, right, and lining up across from a tight end? So if he's doing that, then more than likely they're either trying to isolate him. And, and, and use his pass rush skills or maybe help him out in the pass rush because most tight ends can't rush the passer. And then your, your, your tackle has a little bit more space in the work with, right, if you're lining up past a tight end or a tight end would be. Or do they put him on the weak side and have him go against perhaps the best uh, lineman on the team? That's what you should look at. Bucks and Jack and, and Jills and all this like that. No, that, that, shit is, that shit is for casual fans. Aziz has 20 tackles, three and a half sacks, while Grenard has 26 tackles and four sacks. And uh, your boy, John Grenard, is 46 years old, and Aziz Ojolari is like 14 years old. So you bet, if you didn't know who Aziz Ojolari was, uh, I think you better know. Game day went three for four on UF winning. The hell they got to do with us? How many games has Azari? What does that mean? See y'all boys at the stadium. I'm out, Billy. All right, that dude. Zach's in the house again. As a Florida fan, I always consider Chaney an elite OC. How come he got so much hate from Georgia fan base? I'll be honest with you. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Georgia's fan base is the most knowledgeable fan base that I've ever come across. I really don't. Georgia fan base is a lot of people Googling and looking at other people's reactions. I'm like, man, formulate your own opinion. So if, you're, if, you, if your first opinion is something, right, and you go back and you don't really know what's going on and you go check like, oh, Arkansas fans hated Jim Chaney. But if you go look and you actually watch what he did at like Arkansas, you'd be like, well, damn, he was the one, right? They sucked before him. He made them respectable. He came in and changed the game. Uh, he, he 13 personnel, he was using what, what he had, right? He didn't have any NFL receivers. Name one of those receivers at Arkansas at the time period that went to the NFL. Did the Keon kid or whatever his name was? None of those dudes. But guess who did go to the NFL? All of the tight ends. So he was able to recognize that. He, he's good with what you can give him. That's what he is. If you give him something, uh, he'll try to make the best of the situation. He's not going to put square pegs in round holes. So that's why a lot of people are like, man, why don't he target this? Why don't he target that? Maybe those players just aren't that good. You ever thought about that? So I'm not sure why he got that hate, but I think that's what Georgia does. Georgia, think about it now. Georgia hating Coley, and they say bring back Bobo. But, I mean, I didn't cover Georgia or anything, but I remember at the time when Bobo was there, people were saying that he sucked, and they they were glad that he left. So I don't know. It's just one of those. Thumbs up check again. Let's get it, man. We ain't at 100 thumbs up. Come on. Let's get the thumbs up and tell me, and tell me you did. Dre Cruz says, dog fans dumb. Now, I don't think they're dumb. I think that they, you know what I'm saying, just the knowledge there. You don't have to be dumb to be a knowledge. I think you just got to watch more than just your team. Oddly, let's get it. Let's get it to 100. Come on. Emory Jones will be utilized today. Watch. That will be Fab Five, man. Fab Five. Call that man the Fab Five. Let's go. Let's get it. Cheney is changing the narrative at Tennessee. That's what I'm saying. When somebody goes there and think about it. Is there anyone, maybe the receivers, right? The receivers, I think they could two or three of those receivers would start at Georgia. But other than that, nobody else is starting in Tennessee on offense at, at Georgia. And he's doing a damn good job with a whole bunch of younger players, right? I don't know. I, that's what sometimes I think you get what you wish for. Do you think Kyle Pitts would be a Kyle Pitts would be a big factor today? Yes, Georgia struggled to um cover uh I forget which tight end that was at Notre Dame. Um, Cole Komet, right? We've seen it before with Georgia and trying to cover tight ends. He's not even a, a, a your your traditional tight end. They do all kinds of stuff with him. SC Dog said, "What is you talking about? Who are we talking about?" SC Dog, are you directing that to me? Piss is gonna eat today, says Jordan. Nikar, what's up? I think Mullen ain't going to give Kirby everything he got. I think Kirby going to give Mullen everything he has, too. So, Doc Meta says Emory is Tebow 2.0. Fab Five. Get your Fab Five shirts right there. Imagine if Mullen had Georgia's roster. I already said that in one of my pieces, man. You pretty much playing off what I said. 
if he had Georgia's roster, I think they win the national championship for sure. It would be a different way of operating, though. Expect to see some tricks by Mullen. Or maybe we don't know. We've never seen. See, that's another thing, though. Having a roster. So Florida's roster is very good, right? But it's no, we're the high-level elite players on it. So he's a bunch of guys, right, that are, you would consider um, just off of being high-level elite. Georgia has a roster full of those guys, and that's harder to manage. But we don't know if Georgia, what Dan Mullen would do with Georgia's roster. I think well, some of the players could be sprinkled in the Florida's roster. It would be a no-brainer that they win the national championship. But him managing an entire roster, like he didn't have to do that at Mississippi State. You know how many just outside linebackers Georgia has that are five stars? Count them up. Robert Bill was a five star. Um, Adam Anderson was a five star. Nolan Smith was a five star. Uh, I am missing some people. But then beyond that, you got high level recruits like Jermaine Johnson right there. All of these ones, Aziz Ojalari plays that position. All these guys are at the same position. How do you manage that without keeping guys angry? Then when these guys angry, it festers throughout the other team because they're talking in so and so's ear. They're like, oh, I hate being here. I want to leave and this and that. That's what happened. You saw it with Justin Fields last year. It's hard to manage shit like that. It's a little bit easier to manage when these guys don't come into college with those type of expectations. So all different ways to look at stuff like that. I think Florida's offensive line will play today. Um, if I'm being honest with it, I, I think that Florida's offensive line could do could do pretty good, but I expected to struggle in certain certain points for real. When they get to those fabricated pressure schemes, I don't think a lot of I don't think too many people can run them like Georgia just because of the team speed. Georgia's fast, man. The five star who left Georgia to come to Florida. There you go. There, there you go. How do you manage that? That's you just you that was perfect. Thank you about it. I just named all those five star people. Georgia lost a five star outside linebacker, the same position. And he's at Florida now. It's hard to manage. They lost a five star player. That's probably the highest ranked. I would imagine Britton Cox would be the highest ranked player on Florida's team. I don't know for sure. Yeah, the UGA linebacker talent and depth needs to be nationally respected. People are slipping right there. If you don't recognize Georgia for what it is, it's the most talented roster in the entire country. 1A, 1B with Ohio State. Now, is it going to perform like Ohio State has been performing? That remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. But I tell you what, Florida's been performing like a team with a bunch of five stars on it. Let's go. Gators win by 10 plus, says Reginald. What's 10 plus? Give me the score. Does Florida have any five stars? I don't. Uh, they do now with Brenton Goss. I can't think off my head, knowing recruiting and knowing these kids of a high level player that went to uh, a five star player that went to Florida in the last three or four years. Austin Rogers, B Phil, Fab Five. Tony and Copeland. Thoughts? Be feel Fab Five. So, there's Tony. I thought, I'm confused by that, Austin. Fab Five is Tony. Be feel Fab Five, Tony and Copeland. Thoughts? Uh, I'm just going to have to go with what I can understand from that. Uh, Jacob Copeland, I already talked about. I think he's the, the baddest man on the planet when it comes to 50 50 balls, right? The stuff that Lawrence Cage is doing, he's doing it. And Jacob Copeland's like four foot six, and he's a jump ball. I never see nobody jump higher than Jacob Copeland. Jacob Copeland is not like he's six four or something like that. He's out jumping people, and he's what, six one? That dude is special. He's got some special hops, right? So we can see. Um, his his development a little bit better, right? As far as being able to run quick game routes and, and be able to contribute in that fashion. But at the very least, you throw it up to that dude. Uh Fab Five, you already know how I feel about Fab Five. And matter of fact, get you them Fab Five shirts. Murphball on that gmail.com. $30 for the Fab Five shirt. So you support for your boy. Um and um uh Fab Five could definitely be a switch up. I said Georgia has traditionally struggled with switch ups at quarterbacks. They have. We've seen it last two years, the national championship game and the SEC championship game. Bring that man in. They gonna, George gonna his head's gonna be swimming. Like, oh, wow, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do, George? Uh, I don't know. The, the the first that you said, I don't know what that is though. Sounds like you can say the same person's name. The Gators is about to hose them pups. Do you think Tony return makes a huge difference for the Gators or not? I don't think it makes a huge difference. Nah, I think he got to get in where he fit in. 
right? Florida's already just loaded. Did his did his when he was there didn't it make a big difference? He had the um he had a really good play in the Miami game. Then he had like five bad plays. He dances in the backfield a lot too. When they running them shits, bro, your boy be dancing like even even like Michael P. Ryan be like, damn, where you get them dance moves, Kadarius? I like that. The boy be like, where am I going? Where am I going? He'll lose you some yards too. So Greg Factor Man says, I'll buy a Fab Five shirt. What you mean you'll buy one? I just told you where to get it from. Murphballin at gmail.com. All you got to do is hit the PayPal, John. Same exact thing. 30 bucks. Friends and family option. Let me know your size and where you live at, and we get on it. Murph, my son is 10. He plays peewee ball. You said I'm, I'm, he, you said per wee ball, but I'm going to think you meant pee wee ball. He watches your breakdown and goes out and practice at home using your insight. I want to say thanks for your work. You have more and more people think, bro. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate that. But make sure he only watches some of the breakdowns. I'll be saying some um I'll be saying some stuff that's really not for kids. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I should do a um a kid version uh site or something like that. Falcons Free now, Joe Murphy. Appreciate the content you've been dropping. It goes another five to the Florida site. <laughs> I'm a one-man band. Exactly. You see the Florida people, right? This is how I know it. This is how I test out a fan base. This is how I tested out Ohio State and, and Michigan and those guys. These guys always want to be like like Georgia, right? I got the shirts popping for Georgia. So out endless amount of shirts for Georgia. So these other teams see it and they be like, man, I wish we had something like that. Like Murph, do something for Fab Five. I like that nickname and stuff like that. I was like, all right, I might think about it. You know what I'm saying? Take my time, whatever like that. And then I come with it. They should be jumping all over. That's exactly what Ohio State Michigan did. So you see what happened to them. So no shirt, no, no site for them. Perhaps no site for Florida. It would be dope to have the Florida Patreon site though. We'll see. But I don't know. I don't think Florida has pockets like that for it to, to really work. I want that Penn State action. I know Penn State got them pockets. Randy says, photo, phone autocorrect. That Perry football. But no, man, what's your what's your son's name? Tell him, um, shout outs to your son. Tell me your son's name so I can send him a shout out. Ponsal Limison in the house. Ponsal Limison, man, I thought you were a mod. You're a mod now. You better still be a member at the site, too. Ponsal Limison is um suspect. I don't think I seen him at the site. Don't let me check if you're not a member there. I'm going I'm to take that wrench away. And then I'm going to come find you and hit you with it. I mean, that score prediction. Just don't seek live streams, bro. Watch content. I've been did that. Everybody be safe and go dog, says Christy. Thank you, Christy. And uh, learn how to spell Aziz Ojolari's name. What's wrong with you? I'm going to spell it for you. They got Richard Benoit up out of here. Dang, JR Fly, why you hiding? Because he has for score prediction. He don't watch the uh, JR Fly says if you don't watch the content, he you don't need to be here. Stanley Murphy says, Murph, Gators checking in. Let's do it. Let's go. Go Gators. Go dogs. When all that other shit y'all say. It's about to get it. It's about to be popping, baby. Is it 3 30 yet? What should I do, man? Should I stream for this game? Because there's no other games to cover, right? So I can, you know what I'm saying? And I got stuff to do tomorrow. So I might not even be able to make the content tomorrow. Maybe I could stream for the game. I'm not sure. Then when I stream, though, I can't pay attention like I want to pay attention to. UF 37, UGA 20. Dang, that's hard. That's hard. If if by chance this happens, what this man just said, right? Dang it, man. He's traditionally been snorting airplane glue. But if UF beats Georgia 37 to 20, I'll be honest with you. I think it may be over for Georgia's reign at the top. The reign on the top will be short like leprechauns. I thought you did a good job streaming the LSU Auburn game. Yeah, that's because I knew I didn't have any content to do after that. Did I do content for that game? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I did. Snorting airplane. <laughs> like check. Everybody like the like check for the one. These dudes like we ain't at a hundred yet. We ain't at a hundred. Come on, man. We got a whole bunch of people right here. Let's go. Let's go. I can't mess with Hove. What does Hove got to do anything? I hope you didn't think that quote was from Hove. Wasn't that from um, the Notorious B.I.G.? Your Wayne on the top is short like leprechauns. I think he did. He thought that was Jay Z, man. I'm 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 surprised about that. Where we at? Let's go, man. There's a whole bunch of people rocking here, man. Let's rock it, baby. Let's get it. I'm hype. Brian Herring, who Florida better worry about? Kid is a baller. I love when people mention guys like Brian Herring. That means they're paying attention to football. 
You know what uh, Christy would mention? I love you, Christy, but you would mention Zamir White. Brian Heron has been balling. Joshua says UF 31 to 20. Y'all trying to let, let's be real right here. Right? It's it's one thing for Georgia to lose this game, but if Georgia got smoked out of this game, I don't even think, be honest with you, if Georgia loses this game, period. Was Georgia's reign on the top short like leprechauns? Let me know for real. But that's scary to think about, right? I came into this season telling Ian Snyder, <laughs> I'm gonna keep throwing Ian Snyder under the bus. That Florida wasn't nothing to mess with, right? And he was like, nope. Dan Mullen trash, this, this, that, or whatever like that. The roster's trash and all this and that. I'm like, well, Dan Mullen does less with more. It doesn't matter. Some people need – I think Kirby Smart needs a bunch of five-star players to compete. He, you give Kirby Smart Florida's roster, Florida's probably a eight-win team. I'm going to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I think he's eight because of in-game adjustments, all that stuff like that. Way different for Coach Smart. Dan Mullen thrives on stuff like that, mismatches and being all that. And his, and his, he hired better coaches. He is the better coach, so I don't know. Would the would, would the rain on top be short, short like leprechauns? Georgia has to win this game. No excuses. We said that at the Patreon site. Hashtag no excuses right here. This is Georgia's year. This would be Georgia's year. Georgia has the top roster in college football. If it does not win the national championship this year, and not even that, if it doesn't even get out of the SEC East past its rival, the rival done came and got you, it can take your shine, is the rain on top short like leprechauns? Tony B in the house. Thank you. Thumbs up. He did a thumbs up check with a. Now that's hard. That's hard. Ray Charles says, what rain? The rain that they've been to the SEC championship game, the national championship game, and they've thoroughly beaten Florida. So I don't know what the, you know what rain is. Come on. Don't, 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 don't do that. Fan Mullen with the smart roster. Oh my God. I call that man Fan Mullen. Austin Rogers in the house. I met Jones, Tony, and Copeland. Jones. Jones, Tony, and Copeland. Jones. Running the triple slash shovel option like in 2008 with Tebow, Dempsey, and Rainey. Would it be effective? Oh, Emory Jones, Kendarius, Tony, and Copeland. I don't know why you would put Copeland back there. Uh, I'm not sure what Copeland would have to do anything. I would think you would mint Jones, Jones, Tony, and maybe one of the other running backs. Maybe like a um, Damian Pierce. His name is Ray Charles Murphy. Can't see. <laughs> what? Very confused. Mullen makes half a star look like he's an all-star, says Johnny Johnson. Wow. That's hard. That's hard. As for your, your question, though, um, Austin, um, I think in a, any with Dan Mullen, he's able to do anything in a package, right? Pause. Oh, we got to pause that. Some of these people in here like, oh, he said package and Dan Mullen. I love the hacker, and I love top billing. Um. It, if he can package up a certain amount of plays, that's something you wouldn't lean on a whole bunch of times, right? But that was something you would bring in as a switch up with Emory Jones running some, something like that. That would be hard. That would be hard. But I think you could do pretty much anything with Fat Five, man. Get you some Fat Five, sir. Stop, stop playing around. Jordan has only given up eight TDs all year. Go Dawg, says Madison Jones. That is true. That is true. Not one of them was a rushing touchdown either, right? But Georgia's also given up some long ass pass plays to some some teams that shouldn't be passing the ball long on you. South Carolina and Tennessee. Got to got to got to I got to play it down the middle. <laughs> Thirty five to twenty four. Georgia wins. Defense creates two turnovers. Says Keen Scott. That's a hard. Are we are we not factoring that into into the equation as well? Right. Not everything is just having to do uh, with what the offense is going to do or what the defense is going to stop. What about a defense creating turnovers? Be honest with you, though, Florida has been the king of creating turnovers this year, right? Me doing the film studies. I only see this is the thing. I don't I don't look at the statistics. I want to go by the eye test and, and, and really try to remember and jog my memory and be like, okay, this happened. There's a lot of turnovers for Florida. I would venture to say that Florida has more turnovers than Georgia. Can someone look that up for me? I don't have my uh, stat guy on it. Dang it, man. Dang it, man. Uh, sniffing that airplane glue. UF goes up two scores and never looks back. Book it. Man, he's doing a book it. You know what we dang it, man. I hate to break it to you. You know what we do when, when stuff says book it? You got to pull the receipts, right? So if the receipts aren't pulled and it doesn't happen that way, we gotta we gotta block you, right? We we play for what we call pink slips. So you're you're betting your um your your membership here. Less Vegas in the house. What up? Feels good to be back. I've missed y'all on the live streams. Whoever wins, I hope it's a great game today. Hopefully, a UJ's reign on the top. Is it short like Leprechaun, though? Shout out to Jay-Z. Why y'all say Jay-Z? Wasn't that 
Somebody fact check this. I think the first person that said that was the notorious B.I.G. was Biggie Smalls. Why y'all saying Jay Z? See, less is all about recency bias, right? If somebody said that from like uh, the Migos or something like that, he would give Migos the prize. He like, no, I never heard it before the Migos said. It. Somebody fact check that. That was Biggie, man. I'm, 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 I'm low key disappointed in less for saying Jay Z. Y'all know Jay Z be taking shit from other people too. Oh, let's say it was Biggie. Okay, okay. There you go. Yeah, Alex says Biggie from Kick in the Door. Nakara says Biggie. Gville says Biggie Kick in the Door. James A. Wilson said it was Biggie. So my man earlier, remember he said Jay-Z too. J.R. Fly says Jay -Z, Biggie Kick in the Door. Les says Jay-Z takes everything from Biggie. Come on, man. Why you do that to that man? Uh, and Matthew says Florida isn't, is top 10 in sacks, and that's without Z Zaniga and Grenard at full health. Well, Let's be honest here. Those guys got 11 sacks against Miami, right? So this is what I looked at right here. I want to know where they were at in sacks, right, without J J um, Jabari Zaniga and Grenard against the best competition that they play. So we looked it up. LSU and Auburn, a combined one sack. So that means Towson and, and all those other teams like that, Tennessee, and this, that's where they're getting the sacks from. So, And there is nobody – They've played on the schedule that has an offensive line like Georgia. So even a healthy uh, Grenard and Zaniga could possibly struggle like that. So got to play. I'm playing it down the middle. I believe. Do what you have to do, says Dang It Man. All right, Dang It Man. I hope you come back. So we got to, um, if it doesn't happen like that, we got to publicly block you. Uh oh, Reginald's in the house. He mad. Y'all talking about Jay Z. I'm a Jay Z. I'm a Jay Z stand. I can't lie. But. I, I play it down the middle. I'm a huge Jay-Z fan, but he does take shit. I'm sorry. But Jay-Z pays homage, doesn't take shit, says Reginald. Mm. Mm. Sometimes you, if you pay homage, though, you know what I mean? Like, I know these people stealing my phrases and shit out there. They're stealing. They Because you know how you're stealing? You don't acknowledge that you got it from that person. So anybody who has not heard it, they would think that you said it first. So if he says something like, like my man Biggie said, your reign on the top is short like Leprechaun. Then you're paying homage, right? Y'all got him up out of there? Come on, JR Fly. Get him up out. There you go. Georgia only has 31 total plays of 20 plus yards. All right, Garrett. Appreciate you, bro. Georgia only has 31 total plays of 20 plus yards. Okay. Um, how many uh for Florida? Let me let me give me give me some context. Put that emphasis on homage. <laughs> like my boy Mur said, Fromm is the general. Fromm is definitely the general. People going, you know what I'm saying? You're going to respect Jay Fromm. But I will say this, though. This is the this the game makes or breaks this entire Georgia's team, this entire Georgia team. And I'm going to put the general in that with as well, right? So he's playing for his his um title of the general. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought the world of this team coming into the season, right? Uh I didn't make a national title prediction, but Georgia was on the on the uh, Georgia was on my mind if I was going to do one. Georgia has every every aspect that you could want to me, right? If if, if people are being unbiased about this, they have every aspect to win a national title, right? They're great in the trenches, and that's where it starts. And they have a, a all star caliber quarterback. It's time to show it, man. Georgia versus Alabama National Championship game 2020. Roberto says, love the Fab Five shirt. Hey, you got to show me how much you love it, man. The Emory Jones shirt is hard. Pause, says Les. I really hope the O-line doesn't let Nas down. <laughs> Remember when everybody was letting Nas? What was the song called? Was it, hey, how many people let Nas down? What was that song called? Let Nas down. How many how many people how many shit done let Nas down this this year for uh for Georgia? This game is bigger for UGA than Florida. I think they get the job done. It's way bigger for UGA than Florida. Florida's just starting out with 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 the hacker. This is supposed to be the culmination of everything for Coach Smart with his guys winning the national championship. Then you got I'm telling you, you can literally see the shine being taken off of Georgia right now. Uh we're figuratively speaking, really, but with LSU. All the shit, people, every time I turn on anything, LSU is, LSU this, LSU this. LSU is like the new tumor, right? Everybody's always saying, tumor, it's a tumor. Everybody's like, tumor, LSU, 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 LSU. That was always Georgia for the past couple of years. 
and uh, Eric Gilbert and all that. That shit, that shit hurts. That shit hurts. Watch. If you're a Georgia fan, that shit hurts. So you cannot be freaking <laughs> – you cannot be losing this game to Florida, your rival. What up, top wide receiver O-line play will make or break the game? O-line play for sure. O-line play for sure because I think one hand watches the other, both watch the face. For your wide receivers to really ball out, that offensive line needs to be able to ball out. Madison says, I'll give you a good stat, Murph. Florida has given up 99% of what the other team averages of runs and 98% average of passes, while Georgia only gives up 70% of the run and 80 for pass. Wow. Whoa. That's pretty dope, man. But I don't like those kind of stats because it doesn't take in the, um it doesn't take into, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't take into effect competition. Right? You know I mean, would would Georgia do that against Alabama or LSU, you know what I mean, if, if the competition was a little bit better. So those stats always sound good in theories, those advanced stats, but I, I work off competition. Where do you have people at? Let's get the site going, says Fanta. <laughs> I hear you. Type building, how would you compare trash? I'm not going to read this thing because I think they just blocked you. Yeah, we're not doing the whole so-and-so sucks. We trying to – Maurice in the house. Maurice up hits – Maurice – Maurice be on that airplane glue too, man. I love Maurice though. Let's not be, I got to be unbiased about it. Maurice be airplane gluing. Who has the better DBs? Um, As a whole, I would say uh, Georgia has the better DBs. Um, The best DB from both, uh, from either team. Even that's debatable to me. It could be Eric Stokes, could be CJ Henderson. But I would take, um, I would take, Eric Stokes, J.R. Reed, and Richard LeCount. And then my other cornerback would be C.J. Henderson. So I would take three DBs. And I would take Richard LeCount despite the fact that I don't think he's good. I just think he's a, a better version of like a Donovan Steiner. Donovan Steiner ain't, ain't trying to tackle nobody. At least at least Richard would try. He just can't do it. And Matthew says, already super chatted, not trying to artificially skew for UF. Go Gators. For sure, bro. Regular glue not strong. Brandon Barnes says, dang, regular glue not strong enough. He can't do the regular glue. He need all his brain cells to be fried out when he make these comments. Will Florida be able to the run? To the run? Or are we talking about stop the run? Or will they be able to run? Which one, funky bunch? Stop the run. Against Georgia? I don't think I don't think there's too many teams alive that's built to stop Georgia. Now, can it contain it a little bit? I don't know. Anybody asking my score prediction, that means that they don't watch my content. So if you don't watch the content, I have n- nothing to say to you, for sure. It's, come on. I got content there. I have, I put 20 minutes, right? You know, you know how long it takes to make a 20-minute video? It doesn't take 20 minutes. <laughs> it takes hours and hours. So at least do your boy a favor and watch the content. And I always click on the ads, too. Everybody said UF couldn't run in 14 too. Stop watching nerds. What does that mean? You pick Georgia, but what's your biggest key to the game? All right. My biggest key to the game. I think there is not one biggest key to the game. I think when 50-50 fights, right, when teams are, to me, evenly matched, it becomes about a whole bunch of different things, right? I think one key to the game is when one team is just better than the other, right? Like, these two teams are evenly matched. So it's like, all right, can can Florida actually establish a pass rush? Because then if they can't establish a pass rush, maybe Georgia's receivers can get open if they give them enough time, right? Got to look at that. Then it's like, all right, can Florida stop Georgia's run run game, right? All right, suppose they do stop the run game. Then what happens? Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff. When it's a 50-50 fight, you know what I mean? It's like if, if Terrence Crawford and, and Errol Spence fought each other in boxing, it wouldn't be, uh, could Crawford... Uh, land a big shot on Errol Spence. It'll be a whole bunch. It'll be like, man, can he slip and come with a counter? Um, can he cut off the ring? Can it, it'll be a whole bunch of different stuff. That's only, I'm telling you, when it's one aspect, one big, hey, you can point to one big aspect, that means the teams are not evenly matched. Instant Classic says Trask can really play as well. Who was he talking to? Was this, <laughs> like, you came with the the kind of Captain Obvious jaw. I'm confused. That 20 minutes took a whole day, probably. Finding the film, watching it, breaking it down, then editing the video. It, thank you, Falcons, for People don't understand. That shit takes a lot of time. 
That's why I don't have people like, man, he be all mean to the people and stuff like that. Because, man, I'm putting this shit is free. All you got to do is watch. These people come in, they don't watch, and they just want to comment. Low scoring game. Neither team will get over 24, says Byron. That's hard. That's hard. That 20, um, Auburn's defense is better than Georgia's. Georgia has padded their stats against lesser competition. I don't know. Name, why is it better? Because of Derrick Brown? There's literally, you would literally only start Derrick Brown on, on Georgia, right? Even Marlon Davidson, even Marlon Davidson, you can make an argument that Georgia already has this Marlon Davidson. So you're literally talking about one player. The rest of the guys, you would not start. They would not start. Name, you can't even name the people. Name somebody at Auburn outside of Derrick Brown or may or Marlon Davidson that would start at Georgia. I got this microphone here. You can't just say shit to me. Like, come on, name him. Where's this? What's this dude's name? Jeff Hudson. Jeff Hudson, for real. Name him. Name the players. This is how you know, you know what I'm saying? You just saying shit just to say it. Not you wouldn't even remotely think about any of those defensive secondary players starting at Georgia. Wouldn't happen. Not one of them. Christian Tut, none of them dudes. KJ Britt, why would they start KJ Britt over Monty Rice? What has he done that Monty Rice Monty Rice hasn't done? Monty Rice does the same exact shit KJ Britt does. He does. They were in the same. Think about this. Monty Rice and KJ Britt were in the same recruiting. I've been around both of those guys together, but Monty Rice has been playing for. KJ Britt didn't get as much um, playing time, right? Monty Rice has more experience and he does the exact same shit. Who else? Who else? And you and then and then that and besides that, Owen Papo, nope, Nicobe Dean, right? They wanted Nicobe Dean over Owen Papo at Georgia, and they got him. Uh who Quay Walker? Quay Walker would you could arguably say Quay Walker would start at Auburn if he were there. Channing Tindall. Is there any Channing Tindalls in Auburn? Like, come on, don't play Georgia like that. Doesn't make sense to me. Not on that side of the ball, they're loaded. You're talking about a team with 15 five stars, and they're all mostly on that side of the ball. Derrick Brown and then whom? Who would start from Auburn at Georgia? You can't say that they done they they done what they had to do against who they played. That's just it. And then think about this. You'll say Derrick Brown, but then the rest of the guys, if you were making a team for Auburn, Auburn would love to have um some of these other players. You think Auburn wouldn't want Nolan Smith or Aziz Ojolari or Jermaine Johnson? And they, Georgia's way deeper than these guys. Big Cat Bryant would not start at Georgia. Big Cat Bryant is Brenton Cox. He's the, he would be Georgia's version of Brenton Cox, right? He would had to eventually have to transfer to Auburn. That's what you know. Say, be real about the situation. Big Cat, come on, man. What has Big Cat done? People just like his name. What has he done, though? You lay, line up and be like, damn, Big Cat Bryant is killing it. He's false starting and not getting sacked. Somebody pull up Big Cat Bryant's stats. I think Davidson has a little bit better get off the hearing. Okay, I said that. Arguably Davidson. That's two players out of an 11. <laughs> there's 11 players on defense. The rest of the nine players, all Georgia players you would pick. But still, you said he had herring. He has better get off the herring. Does he have better get off than Aziz Ojolari? Marlon Davis is like 270 pounds or something like that. Aziz Ojolari is way faster than him. If you're talking about straight athleticism and stuff like that, Aziz Ojolari can do that. They didn't, they wanted Nolan Smith bad. They, they couldn't even sniff Nolan Smith. All these guys they wanted from Georgia and they did not get. There's only one. What, what do we do when somebody comes in there like that? Just get them out, coach. No, it's, it's very easy. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So get them out. It's it's very easy. <laughs> All you got to do is f f follow football. Man, can y'all going to let that get by? Come on, man. Y'all slipping. Nicknames hype you up. Remember Pot Roast. <laughs> pot Roast. Who's Pot Roast? I remember Pot Roast, but I can't remember who it was. Was it um Knighton or something like that? Big Cat has 12 tackles and one and a half sacks. Ooh. That would just that would just make Georgia go ham. Come on, man! This man has one and a half sacks and twelve tackles, and he's a starting he's starting outside linebacker on a team that has Derrick Brown. So he gets one on one. He's soloed up one on one. Yep, I said Knighton. See, I know I don't know what I'm talking about. I said Knighton. 
Philly splash? What is that? Would you choose Georgia defense over Auburn's? Just curious. I'm confused. I just went on this this five minute rant and tirade. What did you just watch? What did he just watch? Was all that for now? I'm confused. You timed him out? Why y'all timed him out? Yes, I would take Georgia's defense over Auburn's. People are people are so prisoner of the moment with stuff, right? You're acting like before whatever you think Auburn did, Auburn did great against LSU, no doubt about that. But Georgia's not been – or Georgia's been balling on defense. Don't confuse Georgia's offensive production – Against South Carolina, right? How many how many points did South Carolina score on offense against Georgia? Just, just let me know. Oh, yeah. I know people try to piss me off because they love to get the reaction, right? That's why a lot of people like to come. They just want to see me spaz out. They scored 10 points on offense. How many touchdowns did they score? Let's let's do that. How many touchdowns did, did Georgia give up to South Carolina? Too many LSU fans that can't take off the purple and yellow shades. Javon Leak at Maryland is special. What do you think? The f this got to do with what we're talking about here. I think you did this before, too. Like, bro, if you got nothing to contribute to the actual topic, just don't talk. Just sit there and just watch. Pot Roast is low key one of the greatest nicknames of all time. I don't know about that. The Philly Flash. What the hell? Brother Ortiz says, Amen. One touchdown. So it was one touchdown against South Carolina, right? So people will look at that and be like, oh, man, Georgia struggled. How many touchdowns did Georgia give up against Kentucky? Now people are going to be like, oh, they was playing with a wide receiver at quarterback. Your point? They played with the same wide receiver at quarterback the game before against Arkansas, and I think Kentucky actually won that game. It's just a big difference when you're going against Georgia. Georgia has a very good defense. One of the best defenses of the country. Could be perhaps the top defense in the country. Zaniga or Grenard. I'm confused. They don't even play the same position. And they're on the same team. I mean, you can literally take them both. They play for the same team. Uh, if I just had my choice, of, I would take I would take Zaniga. Longer track record. Does Auburn have a safety that will start over LeCount? Nobody can even name the safety's names there. <laughs> Those guys are, are, are worse than Richard LeCount. Daniel Thomas and these boys? No, they're, those are they're not more talented than Richard LeCount. Key matchup to watching the game is too many to name. Just one, bro. Watch the um Santi, what up? Watch watch the exterior offensive lineman versus John Grenard and um Jeremiah Moon. Jeremiah Moon. That's another big cat Bryant style cat. Neither one of Auburn DBs will start at Georgia. No, not there's three of them that you could think of. Even Christian Tut wouldn't start at Georgia. But no, not Noah Igbenogany and, and not Javaris Davis. They wouldn't start at Georgia. Les, if he's trying to troll, why are you entertaining and letting him troll? Jeremiah Denson is solid. Okay, what does solid have to do with starting at Georgia? There are a whole bunch of players at Georgia that aren't start, starting that I could say is solid that could probably start at LA, um at, at Auburn. Confused. Right? Like I said before, Quay Walker, he's not a starter at Georgia. Quay Walker could probably start at Auburn, though. Tyson Campbell, right? If he starts or not. You would think that they would love to have a Tyson Campbell. I'm just glad weather won't affect the game today. Nice sunny day, no limitations. Oh, for real? Oh, that's what's up. See Florida's lack of depth surface in the game. Where where do they lack depth at though? I would I I only think they lack depth in the secondary. I think the front seven is extremely solid. They bring in guys, James Carter and these guys. They're able to bring in Amari Bernie and, and people like that in sub packages. I think the front seven is plenty of talent. Right, Chris Bogle. We saw it, especially if Jabari Zaniga and John Granada are healthy, then you you bring in guys like Chris Bogle and, and Diabati and all these guys, right? But it becomes quality depth then, right? Can these guys actually get it done? But the secondary, but even the secondary, Jawan Taylor coming in and Sean Davis and these guys like that, it's all no. I think it's about can the guys in the front actually be effective. Jer Jeremiah Moon, 
looks the part, but is very big cat Bryantish. Somebody post up Jeremiah Moon stats, right? I like to compare that to Big Cat Bryant. Florida's death is really young. I live in South Georgia and it's not cold or cloudy. It's cold outside where I live at, though. Do you think Georgia's offensive line is overrated? Something seen overrated, something seems suspect. Uh, no, I don't think the entire line is overrated. I think there may be an overrated player in the center, but I don't think he's overrated because nobody's really factored him in as being some kind of superstar yet. He's very young in his development. He's his first year starter, but he's definitely a weak link. Then I think the right guard, but when they keep rotating the two players, I think there's a reason why they rotate uh, Big um, Big Big Ben Cleveland and Cave Mays. Yeah, I think if one of them was balling out of control, I don't think you would rotate them. What's Big Cat Bryantish? You know what Big Cat Bryantish is when you are a starter and you have one and a half sacks and, and, and 12 tackles. Moon has 29 tackles and three sacks. So let you know about Big Cat Bryant, right? But he would start at Georgia. He has 12 tackles and one and a half sacks. Even Jeremiah Moon has 29 tackles and three sacks. Kate Mace took a step back this year. I think, I think Lester, you, we can say that, but Kate Mace to me is better as an exterior player. I don't think he bends well enough to be a guard. He's he's tall. If if you're tall and, and you can't bend, you're going against guys who are probably a little like 6'2 and stuff like that on, on the interior. Trey Dean has been disappointed at the star position. If you forget about Trey Dean, will he be a good safety? I think people are saying this, right? I have to, I'm not, I can't for sure say that I was the first person to say the thing about Trey, but I had a whole thing on Trey Dean. I had the thing, and people clearly, I have the content. People know that I know Trey Dean. I know his father's, you know what I'm saying? Email back and forth with his father very recently here. We're trying to, he's trying to get me on some business stuff here. I've been around Trey Dean a lot. I'm the one that said the guy should be a safety. I don't know why people keep asking me about that. It's like it circulated, now it's back. It's like the little telephone game or whatever like that. You had to trade trading pieces senior season yeah for sure but the gators don't on it i didn't the gators wouldn't know about that really looking forward to florida next year actually if gators protect the ball today mullen will give the gators the edge go gators i'm looking yeah the future with florida to me is upward trajectory shorter guys in the trenches got that lower center of gravity advantage says louisiana banks for sure that's what i'm saying so a six foot six six foot seven guy like kate mays playing a right guard same thing with big big ben cleveland it's maybe not even the fact that they can't bend. It's the fact that it's just the, can they bend that far? How trash a system player or underrated talent? Um, System player or underrated talent? I will, I'm, I'm going to go with underrated talent. I think I think he I think he's the goods, right? Do I think he's some kind of superstar, though? I don't, I don't, I don't think he's a superstar by any stretch of the imagination. And I was going back and forth with this one guy. I don't know why. He was just wanting to trash Jake Fromm. And he was acting like Kyle Trash has just been like, listen, let's be real here. I always keep it right down the middle. Y'all know I got all the Kyle Trash content, or whatever like that. But I will keep it 100 with you. This man has already thrown almost five interceptions. He threw five interceptions, right? He's credited for four, I think. But y'all saw the pick that he threw. That was a bad pick that he threw against LSU, which would have been his second pick, right? He's only played five. That's five interceptions in five games, I believe, right? This will be his sixth, sixth start. Come on, man. You, you got to point that out, especially when you're talking about someone like Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm doesn't do that. All right? He'll go through a whole 15-game season, maybe throw five or six interceptions. He's five games with five interceptions. That's something he's got to work on, right? Taking care of the ball. That can be problematic. Throw two picks against Georgia, it may look a little bit different than you think it was going to look. Gator fans show Murph some love. We need all the positive vibe we can get for this one. Fat Five, the trash at hand. Go Gators. My man, GRS904. Plus the fumbles. That's another thing, right? So he had three fumbles at Auburn. He didn't fumble against LSU. I will give him that, whatever like that. But just the turnovers. And, I mean, turnovers for the, for the kid. He's turning the ball over. So you got to call it down the – and he said limited – or somebody said limited vision. Which team is more physical? Come on, man. You already know Georgia's more physical than, than Florida. Florida's a finesse, a finesse based offense. Georgia's a physical, Florida has a physical defense. Georgia has a physical defense and a physical offense. Florida has a finesse offense. It relies right on a couple of 80 or 90 yard runs. If it didn't have those runs, the, the run game totals would look crazy. Eight turnovers and five games for trash. That's real. That's real. That's something people aren't pointing out. They're not, they're not pointing that out. 
Urban's won two chance at Florida with Mullen, one at Ohio State, says Doc Meadow. What does that mean? Sounds like you were about to cap the obvious. Les, I can't believe you let that let, let that go. Madison is our stat guy. And Madison is a stat guy, but Madison don't always come, a, come along. Like I need him to work every live stream. And I ask the um when I ask the stats, Madison come with it. I need an analytics guy. That's Madison. I don't think Florida's D is physical enough. I think it's pretty physical. I, th- I, th- I think it's pretty physical, right? I really do. Um, are you saying, are you judging Florida's D with Zaniga and, and Granardo? Because I can see what you're saying with, with the with the people running over Auburn, the LSU running on them and everything like that. But I think it does matter. Even though those guys don't play on the inside, well, technically, well, technically, your man's a five technique, right? So that would definitely help. But Outside contained and everything like that, man. You gotta you gotta give it up to them in that particular manner. So I'm I don't know. I don't know if I would say that they're not a physical defense. I think they are a physical defense. Just tuning in, Murph. Three hours still kickoff. It's getting there. My favorite analyst put it best few weeks ago. You gotta out Georgia to beat Georgia. It's been like that traditionally, but there's always a first time for everything, right? So who's going to be the first uh, team to pass and, beat, pass and beat Georgia? You know, I think LSU kind of out physical Georgia last last year. Texas out physical Georgia last year. And then we've seen earlier South Carolina out physical Georgia. Both sides of the ball. Who has the better game from or trash? Um, and I would say they probably have around. I probably say they have probably the same type of game. Zaniga and Grenard setting the edges. What does Urban have to do with today's game? Says Doc on oh, for Doc Manor. Not sure. Leem in the house. Florida can't stop the run and can't run the ball. Bad combo against UGA. Man, I don't know if they can't stop the run, though. Somebody, well, not somebody. Madison, can you pull the uh, run defense stats right there? Let me see what Florida's giving up per, per rush. Madison still there? Y'all see he, Madison, he throwing out them stats and stuff, but let's be honest here. Ma- Madison sometimes be on that erotic coconut milk. Nobody knows what he's doing. He might be watching top billing in his underwear. You can't be watching top billing in your underwear, bro. Put your put your pants on when you watch top billing, man. See, he said, hold on. He means he said, hold on, I got to put my pants on. Reggie Dick says, Mirf, my boy Reggie Duvall. Going on that woody woody, says Santee. Madison watches with his glow sticks. <laughs> Ty Grantham has a trust, talent, and live with results. Come on, man. His name is Dr. Pressure around here. UGA receivers can't beat man coverage. UF is going to lock them down. All right, so maybe they can't beat man coverage straight up, right? There's definitely ways to get somebody open, though. It can James Coley get them open. All you got to do is put somebody in motion at the very least. Then you can't jam them, right? Maybe some stack formations, man um, motion. Motion out to in or in to out. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can you can get someone open. UF gives up 125 yards per game on the ground. You gotta make sure. But what but um how many yards per rush? Haven't had Grenard and Zaniga playing together in weeks. Florida's run defense is the real deal when everybody's healthy, says Andrew. Perhaps, but this will be the best run game that it will see all season. So you may be dope. It may be easy to stop Auburn's run game, right? Not a very good offensive line and not very good um, running back talent, if we're being honest about the situation. That doesn't happen at Georgia. Georgia has perhaps the best offensive line, and it has perhaps the best running back in the country, and then the, perhaps the best running back core in the country. That's what it does. It loads itself up on great running backs and great offensive linemen. So it's Way different. You can't compare it to stopping Auburn or even stopping LSU. LSU. LSU doesn't have that good of an offensive line, in my opinion. Any chance Florida outrushes UGA today? I'm never the person to say that there's not a chance for something to happen. So I don't think that it, it could happen, but there's a chance anything can happen in football. But Fromm might be the worst running QB they face. Oh, he is the worst running QB they face, but they're not. The Fromm doesn't have nothing to do with that. Georgia's the best run outfit in the country with 
probably because of what Fromm does. He's the worst running off um, quarterback, but guess what he is? He's head and shoulders above better than anybody they face pre-snap. He gets them into a lot of these good run calls, right? For people, you got, if you're going to say anything, that's what you need to say right there about that man. He gets these guys in and out of good plays to be able to run the ball that well. Georgia gives up 600 yards this year, 2.9. All right, Madison starting. All right, we might have to revoke Madison's. Like, what does that mean? That's not going to, people don't understand. If you don't give it context, saying someone gave up 600 yards this year, what does that mean? I'm confused. I think you would just be, just do the average. The average is going to be what, what's popping. 2.99 yards per rush for Georgia. And how much, what was the, what is it 4.0, James? Is that for Florida? I can't wait for this game to start. Chomo Chomp Gator Nation. I don't know what Chomo Chomp is, but I know if you take that C off that word, it ain't looking good. 3.8 for Florida, Mr. Commercial, huh? Yep, Fromm is better than Burrow at pre-snap run calls. Why you even bring Burrow up? <laughs> Burrow plays in a uh, in an offense where they're literally looking over to the to, to the coach to see what's going on. Fromm ain't looking at nobody. Fromm is that's what Fromm does. That's what they they that's why they install that type of an offense. Other people who are doing that is like your boy at Stanford, right? They really honed in on the, what to do pre-snap. Someone mentioned Burrow about running. Oh, yeah, Burrow's a hell of a runner. Fromm better than Burrow. I think it's so funny now, right? Everybody's like, oh, Fromm better than Burrow. Burrow's seven games into being with people even liking him. Let's be real. I did all that Joe Burrow content in the offseason. Every time I did it, people were laughing at me. Talking about, you don't know nothing about football. Joe Burrow sucks and all this and that. I'm like, how sway? How does he suck? Right? Why? Because Joe Burrow was doing shit more similar to what Jake Fromm does now, right? In the, in the offense that they were in last year, he couldn't he couldn't do that, right? He was coming from Ohio State, wasn't his game. So now they switched to something that's more elementary school type stuff, and he's thriving. So, well, how do you, how do you judge that, right? He was trying to do maybe Fromm can't do what he does in that offense, but I don't know. Fromm, you would be simplifying it for Fromm. Fromm is doing some shit that NFL teams are doing. If NFL teams would salivate at the shit that he does because it's very much like what you would see Drew Brees and Tom and these guys do pre-snap in the type of route combinations and everything, right? So I don't know. I don't know how you judge that. So, but if we're going by statistics, you Gershaw would say that Joe Burrow is better than Fromm. But if we're going by real football shit. Look what Burrow did last year, trying to do some of the stuff that Fromm has done his career. Gators wasting Slayton talent. Tadero Slayton? You must be Tadero Slayton's uh, grandmother. Madison, chill on the stats. Go to ESPN for that. Where's Madison, where's Madison getting his stats from? Y'all already making me uh, regret Slayton's burner. Oh, that's Slayton himself? Slayton up here watching Top Miller live stream, trying to get a, um, a starting job. Auburn couldn't run the ball against a healthy UFD, though. Auburn, I don't think Auburn to be some type of crazy ass running juggernaut, though. You know what I'm saying? Why are you going to compare Auburn's run game to Georgia's? Or I don't think that Auburn can't even really threaten you with the pass at all. Exactly. Jatarvis Whitlow, is he even is he even in the rotation at Georgia? And are any of the offensive linemen in rotation at Georgia? It's a way different. I don't know why people can't can't um decipher stuff like that, right? Nothing about Auburn's run game compares to Georgia's. None of the offensive linemen would start at Georgia. None of the running backs would start at Georgia. And, and Jatarvis Whitlow would be like, I'll be honest with you, I think if Kenny McIntosh were at Auburn is a very good chance that he could be as good as uh, Jatarvis Whitlow is right now. Eddie Sewell, what up? Rich Rain says, Philly Flyer will have a big game. How does Cal Pitts match up against UGA, says CJ? He matches up great. I don't think they have a guy that can combat that him um, solo like that. I think, you know what? I was looking at that. Well, I'm, I might say that for a little. I do know a guy who could possibly be a Kyle, a Kyle Pitts killer. I'm saying it. That's my boy X, right? Xavier McKinney. I see him right now. They're having him travel with tight ends. I watched the Arkansas game. Arkansas is known for the tight end play, right? That's their best players right now. Cheyenne O'Grady, 
He was traveling with that dude and, and, and putting in work. Now, Cheyenne O'Grady is not Kyle Pitts, but Xavier McKinney versus Kyle Pitts, that's some shit I want to see in the future. JRE, he can't cover, he can't cover man to man. Come on, man. Don't do JRE like that. You know that man is not a good man coverage guy. He's a in the box safety. He's the best tackling safety in the country. I think the dog's offense is going to get after it today. Says David. Is Franz's lack of ability to run reduce the stress on the defense? It's, I'm confused. <laughs> From, the entire time that Fromm has been a quarterback at either level, he has not been a running threat. So what does that have to do with anything? That's not what they do. His ability to run is circumvented by his ability to make his other teammates better and get them in and out of the correct cause. There's more to football than just shit like that. These Lamar Jackson types and all this shit got y'all dudes gassed. Troy Keith, not my point, was pull stats like homie ass. And yeah, we lost by 11 points. Y'all had a free 24-point lead. Sad. Uh-oh. What are we talking about now? B. Wyman, don't, don't know what you're talking about. Murph has been giving them respect. This, oh, shit. It's B. Wyman on this crack shit. The overall disrespect to talent on UJ is mind-boggling. No, he's not talking about me, obviously. That's what I'm saying. People don't – people got to – gotta specify they're gonna always assume that you're talking about me and i'm gonna always assume you're talking about me too you need to say the disrespect by the people in this chat is mind-boggling cb wyman confers he was not talking about me obviously i'm giving props to both teams chris says appreciate your content bro b wyman says my bad i meant the chat for sure yeah these these let's be honest here. this chat is probably 80 percent gators Gators done came in and, and took over the, the channel that was a that was Georgia, uh, uh, you can say, kind of a Georgia channel before. But they ain't take over with them pockets. They got them small-ass arms and them short-ass pockets. Steph, what up? Les said it's all Gators on here. You're right. Santee says, guys, if you have a question, super chat it. You super chat by simply hitting the money sign located in the chat box and selecting the dollar amount and hit send. <laughs> he kept an obvious jaw, and they still ain't going to do it. Cedric Foster has a smiley face. Uh oh, we got beef. What is the beef? What is the, what is the beef going on right here with the Rebel Shaw cap? Rebel Shaw, you sound like another salty Gamecock fan. Oh, we got the Florida versus South Carolina thing going on. Gators don't super chat like dogs do. Not even close. Anybody see? Think about this. When the first um, when I first put the general and the Philly Flyer shirt up, them shits flew off the shelves. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of shirts sold. I put uh I put the fat five drawing up right here. People acting like they don't see it. They're like, oh, oh man, I might have to actually spend some money. Gator number three, South Carolina. Uh, what is Gator number three, South Carolina? We talking about um Javon Kenlaw number three for South Carolina? That dude was that dude is bad. No beef, don't even eat it. Says Rebel Shaw. That's hard. That's one. That's a hard line. Greg says, I bought the Fab Five shirt. You bought the Fab Five shirt? I can't check my notifications. Shout outs to um, shout outs to Greg. Merce Barbershop is open, says Susie. Susie back. Was Susie, was Susie the one that was on that um you know what I'm saying? Susie was on, let's be honest with you. Susie was on some of that exotic orange juice last time she was up in here. But the barbershop is here. We talking trash. Uh, just like the barbershop. Shout out to Greg. He bought the he's the first person to buy the Fab Five shirt. Oh, she was on Exotic Kool-Aid. That's right. That's right. JR Fly says she was suspect. <laughs> Young Halleck, what up? I hope Grantham is aggressive all game and not playing the soft zone. All right, that's a good point right there. Now, people are gonna say, all right, he was he was scared of LSU's receivers. But suppose he's scared of a more 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 than just that. He's just scared, period. Suppose Dr. Pressure wants to play soft zone coverage. Does anybody think that Jake Fromm will have trouble with soft zone coverage? He would nickel and dime you all the, all the way down the field. Your best bet is to get hands on man and make them prove that they can get open. Is Ty Grantham, in your opinion, going to play soft zone coverage? Mix in some PGA golf talk, says Sean Talk. Okay, we will. We will do that very soon, right? We're going to mix that in right after we block you. And not mention it at all. Come on, man. You tripping. Brian, Brian is the last. Sup, Merce? So ready for 330. 
No doubt, Corey, Brian, DJs all day. What can a weaker UFO line do today to keep UGA D line from eating? But here's the thing. As weak as UF's O-line is, they played against some other weak O-lines and didn't necessarily dominate it, right? Not in the sack, not in the, um, as far as getting sacks, what Florida needs to be able to do is be gap sound in this approach as far as the offensive ball to be able to open up that run game, even just a little bit, just to keep them kind of honest. The passing is what's going to do Georgia in if it does, right? That's what's, they're not going to line up and just out physical Georgia. I don't think Florida's built that way. Got you got well, Nick Buchanan. What he weigh about two sixty? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got some really small offensive linemen and shit like that. Georgia, Georgia's built differently for that. However, if you can keep them honest at the very least, man, they, you can make it tough on Georgia. You can make it a little bit rougher. But man, I don't. I, I'm still not so sure that Georgia will just eat as far as the sacks go. They may will probably get some, but I don't know. It's been a bye week for both teams. You never know. Maybe somebody like a Nolan Smith or some of these young guys could can improve leaps and bounds that's what happens man when you're a young guy like that man shit just the light just comes on for you you just never know so um i don't know i don't find georgia to be some type of great pass rushing outfit at this particular moment i do find it to have great talent in that arena but those guys have to do it but i think aziz ojalari against all right who wins this Aziz Ojolari versus Stone Feet Forsyth. Who would y'all take in that matchup for you guys who understand in no trench play? Let me know. Ojolari, Aziz, Tony flashing up. Forsyth has been okay in pass protection. Dude, are you serious? Marlon Davidson made that man look crazy bad. You're saying he's been okay against who? Towson? <laughs> against people who can rush the passer, he has looked terrible. He looked bad against Marlon Davidson. Aziz Ojolari is on that level. See, I noticed that about Charles Davis. He be trying to sneak them Jones in on us like we like we ain't paying attention. Joshua Jones, shout out for the super chat. Did I miss anybody else? This is for Florida fans since you guys never super chat. How Lester going this is the first dude to ever send a Georgia in a Florida super chat. That's gangster. That's when you know you balling. He had trying to help out your fan base. How much is the Fab Five shirt? Fab Five shirt is 30 bucks, like every other top billing shirt. And I'm doing y'all a favor because my oversized logo shits, that shit is hard to do. Dennis Campbell. Uh oh, get out of here with your dog doo doo. Five dollars. Cheap old dogs. Dennis Campbell, you you made it go orange. You a Gator Cat? Gator Cat made it go orange. He and then he, he <laughs> damn, he put it on y'all. That's that's that might be a little embarrassing right there. Right here, thirty bucks, man. Murphbalden at gmail .com. It's the same thing with the PayPal, right? PayPal is Murphbalden at gmail .com. Cash app. All you gotta do is let me know your size and address in there. Family and friends option or the Cash app is dollar sign. Murph Baldwin. Forsyth moved like he got on 50 pound ankle weights. <laughs> Says Louisiana. <laughs> he got a 50 pound Jones. I didn't think I ever could do the 50 pound Jones. He got the 50 pound ankle weights. And my man up there talking about some, he was pretty good in pass pro. Dude, he was getting demolished by Marlon Davidson. That was bad. Uh oh, Santee in the house. Game prediction. UJ comes out with kick, quick throwing game, attacking primarily the middle, establishing balance by coming behind with the run. Florida hands in there for three quarters. Dogs pull away 31 to 20. Santee coming with the goods. Terry says, I got Florida 31 to 17. Forsyth is hot trash, man. He got to have some pictures of someone, says Nick the Kid. I think him and um, he got pictures of Charles David, too, because Charles David's up here piping Stone Forsyth. Like, who does that? You know that man has not been good. Not as bad as Delaney? You mean DeLance? No, not as bad as DeLance. Yeah, they've been equally as bad, in my opinion. They both are not that good. Forsyth out here yelling, stop, stop, while blocking people. <laughs> He's doing the stop, stop. Hey, stop. Stop. Oh no, trash. Who got who got injured? Who was the um who was the block on the play that trash got injured with his knee? Somebody uh take a wild guess. Says the lance is much worse. <laughs> okay, he can be much worse, but you got trash and then dookie. They both that's what they are. <laughs> trash and dookie. Stone feet foresight.
Double A says dogs 30 17. Defense scores a TD on defense late to seal it. Double A coming with it. Henderson gonna shut down Cager. Cager? That even sounds funny for me to say if somebody said they're gonna shut down Lawrence Gager. I always thought that was an automatic, to be honest with you. <laughs> Lawrence Cager. When Lawrence Cager is your dopest dude, oh shit. Cheap dogs. That man says, get out of here, lizard. Reggie Duval coming with the dogs. Damn. Where, where, what was my man's name? With the with the uh, he threw the dub on it. Dennis Campbell. Dennis Campbell's like, shit. <laughs> He's like, why did I do that? Thoughts on Richard Garage. Uh, Richard Garage has been pretty good when they put him in at left guard. I would like to see him at right tackle or left tackle. For Sife doing a lot of lookout blocking. Touch dudes pass and let him pass and tell the QB to look out. Look out, Kyle. The Lance needs a drummer man from all the spinning. Damn. Kager always covered. He has to do some circuit stuff to get to the ball. That's what I'm saying. People acting like Lawrence Cage is killing it. I'm like, he's winning 50-50 balls because he's not getting open. It's a great talent to have, though. There's always a place to have for a six foot five guy who wins 50-50 balls, but like he's not killing. It. Oh man, y'all are killing me today, man. Let's get these thumbs up popping. What's wrong with y'all today? Let's get the thumbs up. Tell me, man. There's a whole bunch of people watching here. I'm right here. I'm not even watching the Michigan game. The Michigan, Maryland. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit more. Then I gotta bounce, man, so I can watch some football. But I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for this game. I'm not sure if I'm going to live stream it, maybe the second half or come into halftime or something like that. Please don't stunt for <laughs> Just got here. Your thoughts on Kenley returning. Kenley's been gone. Kenley played in um in the South Carolina game. Nick says these noon games ain't bleep. Phil says got you, Murph. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's get it up. 200. We can do 200. Look how many people. Come on, man. Y'all tripping. Georgia gives up their first rushing TD today to Florida, says Andrew. Georgia started giving up rushing touchdowns. I think it's a wrap. Oh, snap. Have we ever seen it go pink? Listen here. I ain't got time for you little puppies. I want all the dog fans to say after the game, we just got beat by Forsyth and Delance. <laughs> if you get beat by Forsyth and Delance, what happens to your program? Is that the end of it? Is that the end of it? When your guys can't get a sack and they're getting, they getting ushered out the club by Gene DeLance, some shit has gone wrong. You're going to have to – I think Sam Pittman should be fired on the spot if that happens. My man with the 50 spot, he made it go pink. We ain't never seen that before. That's hard. That's hard. Well, I think y'all should stop now. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all y'all going to be like, damn, what was I – I was in that drinking. Your boy Dennis and Reggie Duval in here drinking early. I get it is past after one. I don't drink, but you know what I'm saying? You guys out there who do drink, what do you guys drink on for the for the for the game? Let me know. For you people who are of, of age, don't be coming up in here and they like Murph got everybody out here drinking. You know they're gonna lock me up. Crown says Santee. Money beef. This is gangster. I said, goddamn money be filling up Murph pockets. I wish it were. <laughs> it's just keeping the lights on. So I could hopefully one day fill up the pockets. Southern Comfort on Ice. That sounds gangster. Jack Daniels Honey says Bionic. Sweetwater says Charles Goodson. What's that? Christian Helen says no hard liquor before the game, only after. That sounds bad. That sounds like you lost or something like that. Then you got to drink your night away. Night game vodka and OJ. Day game beer says Jeff Hudson. What kind of beer, Jeff? Uh, Matt Jones says Yingling. Regular guy says Long Island. Jay Parker says Jack and a Splash. Lester Hester says Exotic Orange Juice, like as if we didn't know that. Uh, Remy and Henny says Reggie, du uh, Reggie Duval. Oh, we already know that, too, because we talk about it in the group chat. I drank those swishes after I gut them, says Seth. What? Isn't, he's drinking cigars? Um, Stella Artois? Artois? What is that? Hey, Murph, I don't drink, but I'm definitely putting something in the air. Oh. I don't know if we can talk about it on here. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't get me locked up. Apple Crown says Southern Buck. Moonshine says James. <laughs> he on that moonshine. Wait, what just happened? Uh oh. This is for Lesser since we don't super chat. Gators don't play no shit. Damn, and Matthews came with it. He made it go pink. Two pinks. You know what I'm saying? I like I like pink. You know what I'm saying? I've been known to had a lot of pink in my day. I like pink, man. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm married now though. You know what I'm saying? 
Hello from Savannah. Go dogs. Stella is a beer too, Murph. Oh, okay. You know, I don't know. I don't drink. Not a beer guy, not a drinking guy, period. I don't drink at all. I just want to know what y'all drinking. Diet Dr. Pepper. Now you on my shit right there. That's what I be drinking. Diet Dr. Pepper. You watching the fights tonight after football? Is that a question? You damn right. I'm watching them all. I'm going to watch. Um, obviously, I got to watch Canelo Kovalev and Ryan Garcia and Nicole Main. And I got to watch the BMF uh, title fight between Nick, Nick from Nate Diaz. Not Nick. <laughs> Nick will win. Nate Diaz and um and George Masvidal. And there's another one, too. I think Castano's fight's on Fox. Georgia fans going to have them Bud Light Blues tonight. <laughs> Peach Crown and Cream Soda. Man, that sounds hard. Sam Carter. Hey, Sam Carter from the group chat. Peach Crown and Cream Soda or Street Apple Crown. Why that sound hard? That sounds hard. When you don't drink stuff like that, it really gets your attention. Nat, natty Daddy times two with my gator meat. Go dogs. And, oh, a chick. Natty Daddy. What's that? Darren said he's sipping on Coronas. Doc got the diet root beer. Diet root beer? Damn, I don't think I had diet root beer. Terry, Terry says I'm going to be on SEC Nation. Why well, I'm going to be on SEC Nation? I can't be on the Big Ten Network. Brian is the last name, says. Any honest predictions yet, Murph? What are we talking about, bro? I'm confused. What honest predictions would you want? A and W. They make the diet. All right, cool. See, I'm about to tell wife, you know what I'm saying? She had now. I'm like, man, bring back some of the diet A and W. What that? Who got that? Uh Polo's got it? Kroger? Crown Royal Jack Daniel Whiskey in general, says Steph. For scythe chugging <laughs> for scythe chugging four logos before the game. That's his issue. That's why he slowed down like that. He do look like he'd be on some uh yeah, he would be on some some something. White claws. I think I've seen that before. Um whiskey gang stand up. What's what's the whiskey? Gators drinking black can 211s. <laughs> what Y'all say uh, what the other fan base is drinking or what the other team is drinking. What did them Florida Gators dudes be on before they play football? And what did the Georgia Dogs be on before they play football? Charles Davis says, Murph, what was your pick yesterday? So I'm going to go through 20 minutes of video content for you not to watch it, Charles. And you you, you actually think that was going to fly well with me, even with a super chat? Come on, man. What's wrong with you boys? Four loco Gators, red wine at wedding. <laughs> Charles said, I'm a busy man, Murph. You ain't too busy. You here on a live stream. You a live stream seeker. I don't never I've never seen you but in a live stream. Watch the football. You you think I'm just some dude talking or whatever like that. Watch the that's where I get it popping at, baby. The football content, the, the film breakdowns. Bulldogs drinking Shirley Temples. <laughs> oh, so the other team be drinking the uh, kind of the soft drinks. What soft drink is each other's team drinking? One of them some soft, like kind of fruity. Gators okay, fans be on that Mad Dog 20 tourney during the game. Dang, that's hard. Bulldog, Bulldogs drinking mimosas. <laughs> that's not gangster. Why would you the rappers be talking about mimosas? That's that's not something you should be drinking. Murph, not Merv. <laughs> Murph, not Merv. Soft Gators drink yellowtail. Dang, man, got y'all. They popping angry orchard bottles at Athens, says Chris Weezy. Dang. What's wrong with you boys at Athens? With the, with the, y'all boys out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys out there with that. Poots, 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 poots. Gators be drinking that sex on the beach. <laughs> Damn, Gators, Gators might have a little, little splendor in their tanks. Dogs on that keystone, says Travis. <laughs> Gators on that Jamaican me happy. Oh, that's just sound like, you know what I'm saying? You got a little Stevie in your tank. Dan Gray says Mad Dog 2020. He ain't specified, though. He just really going off Mad Dog 2020. Florida fans drinking lead water. Damn. Dogs drinking something cheap. They spending all their money donating $5. Ooh. Ooh. $5. Took their whole bank account away, so they on that dollar, them dollar drinks. Gators be on that raccoon serum. Y'all drinking that raccoon serum? Gators and Dawes on that steel reserve. Oh, damn. The LSU dude came in and had a trump card. We'll, we'll give you your time, B. Wyman. You better come with it with them Alabama people next week. Gators on White Claw, says Madison. 
This person came in just to get blocked. UF will have better rushing numbers than UGA today. That's a hot take. That's definitely a hot take. Anything's possible. Florida man, stay on bath salts. Oh, dang. Y'all, some of y'all some Florida men? LSU fans be on that corn dog juice, says Mr. Commercial. <laughs> hey, why you take it to LSU fans? The man had to he had to get your he had to get his dig in. Bulldogs on the Bahama Mamas. Oh no. Kuzo got you. You on the Bahama Mamas. Georgia fans on that cheap lean. Dang. Florida should keep letting letting Fat Five run around. I don't know, man. You got to think about the rhythm, though. Kyle Trash looked like his rhythm was thrown off when they was putting Fat Five in the game. He should strategically place Fat Five in the game. I don't know about giving him his own series unless something's just going wrong. Gators on them martinis. Dang. Gators got a little sugar in their tank. Gators fans be drinking Boone's Farm. <laughs> Damn, that shit sound cheap than a mama. Both CJ and Marco were out last year, says Charles David, as if we already haven't talked about that 50 times. We already said this, Charles. We're going to keep going through this. Marco Wilson is not good. Him being out matters why. CJ Henderson is very good, but however, he has not been playing that well. But Marco Wilson, what, what are you doing? Marco Wilson needs to prove himself to be good. It's not like you're coming in here talking about Marco Wilson and he's coming off of just straight killing it, killing the game. He has not been doing well. So what does it matter? Gators fans drinking that hot dog water. <laughs> Come on, Logan. That's hard. Tiger's definitely been on Burroughs corn dog. Whoa. Kyer Elam is the X factor on defense, says Chris Weezy. Does Trey Dean have a breakout performance, says David Tillman? In the slot against UGA? Man, I'm not sure they're going to give him too many chances to have a big breakout performance. He could um, rush the passer. That would be pretty good. Maybe that's his way to break up. I'm not sure if, 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 you know, I don't think that's, I think the outside the numbers guys have a chance. Jake Fromm likes to throw them hard ass throws outside the numbers. The the slot receivers and tight ends, they don't get as much love from Jake Fromm. Gators fan be on that pickle juice, says Louisiana Bakes. Dang, Louisiana, uh, LSU, and, and Florida going at it. Bulldogs on that Waffle House syrup, says Nick High. <laughs> John Doe says trading should be a safety. We've only said that 50 million times. I could win the lottery today, too, but doubtful. Georgia on that uncle size old T. Damn. What does it taste like, though? Gators, Hennessy Dogs, Angry Orchard. Oh, Angry Orchard. That's, that's what they do right here this, in his teeth. He was, yeah. The dogs may have a little splendor in their tank. I'm not convinced the nigga makes it through the game. I saw him walking around campus this week, and he st still walks gingerly on that ankle. Yeah, some some potential insider stuff, but anybody can come and say that. He's probably some dog fan that never even left uh, Athens. UJ on that private stock. <laughs> Gators drinking Zima. Zima. I even think I may have drunk a Zima one time before, so I know that shit ain't nothing. I'd be going off some real stuff, but a Zima was like Sprite or something. Bernie could have an impact today slowing down Swift. Bernie's not going to slow down Swift. Bernie's going to have to get off blocks. <laughs> he's going to have to slow down Georgia's offensive line. You got to learn football. Jumbo, they're, they're comboing up the guys like him, so he needs to be able to get off the block of a guy like Solomon Kinley. Start talking about drinking and chat blows up. Please get some help. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man, to get the chat lively. Gators and Dawes on that Burnett's. Dang, what's that? And Ebro, who you who you you must be an LSU cat. And then dogs be on that milk. Man, they just drinking milk. We had 200, man. Let's get it popping, baby. Let's go get it to 225, man. Come on. All you dudes out here drinking and stuff like that. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get it to 225. 7.99, a fifth. Ooh. Okay, just be on them yoo-hoos with vodka. Yikes. That's ugh. people really do that, Alex. LSU fans on that crawfish juice. <laughs> Georgia taking swings at LSU. Gators equals Rose Dawes equals Old English. Kuzo coming with it. Or Cuzo. Cuzo Capone. Georgia fans be drinking almond milk. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't drink almond milk. Austin says, Murph, what's your drink? He ain't hear nothing. These dudes just be here. I don't, what do they be doing when this up be going? I have a microphone, right? So you got to be able to hear me. I told you, I don't drink, bro. They just drinking fuzzy navels. 
yeah, don't do that. I, I ain't gonna lie, I had drunk a fuzzy neighbor like 10 years ago. I don't drink. They made me do it. I did it because they made me do it. The whole favorite team, favorite college team thing, though, right? So this is a live stream secret because anybody who's been on the chat, they know they ask me that shit. They either getting blocked or getting spazzed out on. I'm not. I don't have a favorite team. This is my job. So if I name something that's a favorite team, you know what people are gonna say? You biased for that team. So no. So we don't do that. Dogs on coffee creamer. Hoping Tony gets 10 plus touches today in Florida popping bottles of Chris Stahl tonight. These Susie on that real shit. Y'all, they're tripping. Susie drinking Chris Stahl. Susie, you drink that Chris Stahl? What's Sam Carter talking about? I like Sam Carter, but I ain't gonna lie. Sam Carter, he be in our chat, man. He be going up that woody woody. Dawes, we on that ace of spades, says Les. Does UGA keep no rushing TD streak going today? I think the rushing TD thing is so overrated, right? Like, if they're at the one-yard line and they can't do nothing the entire – the only thing they can do is pass to get down there or something like that, and then they score one, a one-yard touchdown? Like, what did that accomplish? You may have one rushing touchdown, and it's from one yards out, and have 10 total rushing yards in the entire game. I'd be more concerned with the effectiveness of the rushing thing, but I don't, I, it's hard to really say. They get them down there at the one yard line. I can possibly see them running a reverse or even running inside zone and getting a touchdown. So I don't know. That's that's I don't know. That's tough. Georgia drinks anything that's free. <laughs> Plenty clips of Tony getting blasted last game. Please give him ten plus touches. He get blasted, fumble, and run run backwards and stuff like that. I don't know if you want ten touches. He needs to get five of the right touches. Mullen says Tony will get a snaps at running back today. He bringing out the Pervy Harvey package. Pervy Harvey and Tim Tivo. Where's that lady at that said that? That lady was going off that wody wody. I like Pervy Harvey and Go Gator. Florida just needs to keep doing what they've been doing. Mm. Different animals. Styles make fights. I don't know if you want to continue to do what you've been doing. Every team presents different conundrums. I think Copeland should get some handoffs. Dang, for real? I want to see him go downfield and jump up and catch the ball. If I want to see someone get a handoff, I want to see Josh Hammond or Freddie Swain or someone like that get a handoff. Kendarius Tony, Pervy Murphy. <laughs> I don't know about that, bro. Screen pass maybe to Jacob Copeland. How much dancing will P-Rod do today? <laughs> well, P-Rod says he has at least uh, three sets worth of dancing he wants to perform for the people. He said he want to go through all the hits. The D, the I, the D, the D, the Y, the D, the I, the D. That's Diddy. Hold up. P. Diddy p Ryan. A whole concert worth of dancing. p Ryan doing the moonwalk today, says Doc Matta. Man, P-Rod was hitting a hole against South Carolina, though. He danced a little bit, but he was hitting that hole, too. But he started seeing them boys from Georgia flying around with all that speed. Man, he made me start dancing. He just needs, doesn't need to stop his feet. For some odd reason, he thinks he's more agile than what he really is. He starts stopping his feet and stuff like that. p Rod is a downhill guy. He's at his best when he's north-south. He tries to stop his feet and move on people. It's not his game. Georgia fans drinking cold hot dog water. Damn, cold hot dog water. Harry ain't going to be doing some dancing also since Rich Ray's. Oh, Harry ain't no be dancing. Harry got that old school vibe to him. You ever seen Harry and run? He running like the 1986 Gale Sayers and stuff. Harry needs to be more imaginative. He got that funny juke move and stuff. Man, let's be cracking up every time Harry and runs. Harry's from the 80s. Old school juke moves. That's what Sandy said. Yeah, old school juke moves. That's a less said that bit. Less said that too. Harry ain't got that Eric Dickerson. <laughs> Harry ain't like Eric Dickerson out there. Somebody need to tell Harry he got to update his running style. Harry in loves contact. That's what I'm saying. Harry don't be doing no dancing. He got the wrong dude. If anybody's dancing back there, it would actually probably be DeAndre Swift. He'll start dancing a time or two himself. Swift doing a Carlton in the end zone today, I fear. I fear. Damn, Doc. He going to take one to the house? Does DeAndre Swift take a long one to the house? What's the Somebody give me out there. What's the longest run DeAndre Swift will have against Florida? J.R. said he got them Tecmo Bowl moves. 
Harry needs a software update to get those bad moves. Hey, y'all had me tripping. I was laughing. I ain't gonna lie. I was laughing the last two days when we were talking about boy Coach Smart being stuck in 2012. <laughs> the man said the man was on Gangnam Style. Coach Smart still listening to Gangnam Style. I was starting to think about other stuff from 2012. Like, come on, why are Coach Smart still listening to Gangnam Style? He didn't get out that 2012 offense and update his update his software too. Gangnam Style. James Coley needs to be fired, says Josh. Dang. 40. All right, 62 yards. Santi said, you on 62-yard run? Above says 35. Mark says 35, 40. So everybody's saying that he'll break off an explosive run. Tell me this. Is Swift break off an explosive run and does it go for a TD? This is something I've noticed about Swift this year. I'm not sure if he's packed on some pounds or something like that, but he ain't breaking these long runs for touchdowns. There'd be some long runs, but, man, he's kind of getting caught. That's not like him. 77 to the house, says Rich. If he does that, man, that will be hard. 30 yards, says Splash King. So you don't think even 30 yards is though. Najee Harris would kill for a 30-yard run. I think Tyson would show his improvement today. He better. It's going to be the best receiving core he will have faced all year and probably will face unless the dogs make it to the SEC championship game. Can he show his improvement against a guy like Van Jefferson, though? Van Jefferson might spin him like a. Like them rims, them 2001 rims. Florida's defense too fast. They'd run him down. Mm. Oh, you just like CJ Henderson or somebody like that? No, I don't think any of the safeties could run him down. Maybe CJ. Marco Wilson ain't running him down. Maybe Amari Bernie. I don't know. You got two people. Suppose your CJ Henderson is occupied and can't run him down. Then what? I don't see nobody else. Let's not. We're still talking about DeAndre Swift here. This guy is super fast. Chad Taylor, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to everybody, baby. It's true. How long we got? A couple of hours. CJ is the fastest player on the field. Definitely one of them. Him and Eric Stokes. Technically, Eric Stokes is the fastest player on either team. If you look up their, their track time, he was slightly faster than CJ Henderson. What's up, Vince? Sean Davis can run him down. Run down DeAndre Swift? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not Sean Davis. I wouldn't give it to him. How did uh, I forget what was uh, what was Swift's totals last year? What Swift thing Holy Holy Holyfield was, I think. I forget how they did the the run last year. I say Bernie is the fastest on RD. Charles David back on crack. How's how's Amari Bernie faster than CJ Henderson? Can anyone co-sign that? Charles David did it. Charles David, man. He's having a tough time in his first because he's a live stream seeker first and foremost. He's never actually seen any content that I've done, so he just pops on the live stream. A thousand each. What that means, Zach? Davis, no, not totals for this season. I'm talking about against Florida. What were the rushing totals against Florida last year for uh, DeAndre Swift? Dan Mullen can run him down, says Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I'm very confused by that. Charles is going out there. Wody, Wody. Charles has been gone. Charles has been having a tough couple of streams, man. He had said something, right? Almost got blocked. He had to pull the receipts. I think he said that uh, Mari Bernie ran 4-3 or something like that. He, he owned it. Man, I do watch the content. Excellent content, but Murph, you got a, you got you got the pick wrong. I may, I'm Like I said before, I was torn. I didn't know what to do. I was flipping coins. I was doing all kinds of stuff. So at, at the end of the day, I just had to um, – I had to just – I felt like – if all else fails, I'm going to lean on the fact that I think still think football is one in the trenches. So that, that's that's my thing. And even with that being said, I said by three points, I could easily see Florida winning this as well. So I I didn't even really want to make a pick, to be honest with you. But if you got that memory on lock, full shizzle. That's because I don't drink. <laughs> I bet you I wouldn't if I drunk like you guys. It's faster, CJ Henderson or Tyson Campbell. Man, that's hard. Somebody look that up and see the track times, the 100-meter 100, 100 track times for Tyson Campbell and C.J. Henderson. I do know that um, Eric Stokes is faster than both of them, right? So imagine this. Georgia has two legitimate track athletes on his team in Tyson Campbell and Eric Stokes starting at the cornerback position. Speed is not an issue for Georgia. They Richard LeCount's fast as hell. Like, these guys have wheels. That's what people aren't – when people say something like Auburn, Auburn has some speed on his D, has some a couple of great players on the uh, defensive line, Davidson and Brown. But the overall team speed for Georgia, you find a crazy amount of speed at funny positions. Like the outside linebacker, Marlon Davidson, he ain't fast. He can get to the quarterback. But you put a guy like Aziz Ojolari and these guys out there, 
these guys are phenomenally fast, right? It's a different style of defense than Auburn. You're going to have to deal with a ton of speed. Nakia Copeland, 10.27 and 10.3. Why don't – why not attach the number to the actual people, Nakia? Like, well, why would we do that? Tyson, right under a 10.3, 100. What does it mean right under? Why don't we just get the actual number? I'm pretty sure when you looked at the time, it didn't say, hey, right under a 10-3. Give it the actual number. Attach it. What did Campbell run? What did Henderson run? And then what did uh, Eric Stokes run? Just put Stokes, Campbell, and then put their times there. I don't know why you guys make this stuff so hard. The D-line fast as F, for sure. Georgia is scary fast as a unit, says Annoying Life. They are, for sure. Find the legit track times, not newspaper. Exactly. People, I hate when people come with these. I think Charles David did that. One of these people did that. They came with this stuff, and it was somebody's like coach saying something about the time. Like, really? I want actual track times that are that are time. Like the Nike opening, I'll take, and then um mile split for track times. That's what I'll take. Not someone's coach throwing some number out. You believe me, I've been a part of stuff like that. Y'all know I, I used to um uh, Moonlight at the training facility, Dash facility here in Lawrenceville, where we Trey Dean was at and Matthew Hill and all these boys like that. I would throw out a time, too, for some people, right? They're your people. Like, what are you going to do, verify some shit like that? i say, yeah, your boy Matthew Hill, 4-3. Miles Specs, what's that? Charles Davis says, I'm going to look for the real time. You should have done that originally, bro. We work with pink slips and receipts here, baby. DeAndre Swift ran for 104 yards last year on Florida, and Holyfield had 71. All right, here we go. Vince says 10 3 9 for Stokes. That ain't moving. Eric Stokes is fast. No one's outrunning Eric Stokes on the Florida Gator. They don't have nobody that fast to, to outrun him. As, as great as Van Jefferson is, he can't outrun Eric Stokes. He can probably he can attempt to shake him out of his jock, though. Ogan Miller, Georgia has four plus sacks a day and scores on defense or special teams. Ooh. Who's Tony? All right, 10 four, 3 9 for Stokes. Give me uh, Vince. Give me one for um, Henderson. CJ Henderson. Where we at, man? Get the thumbs up popping. What, what, what are we doing here? Let's go. Let's get it to 250. Let's get this. Y'all ain't seen me do this on a Saturday. And Darius Tony. I think Kadarius Tony's speed may be a little overrated, to be honest with you. I don't think he's an elite speed guy like that. I think he's electrifying. People were saying like he's Percy Harvin and stuff like that. I don't I don't see that. I think he's fast, but I don't think he's blazing fast. Check behind them on them. Yeah. Y'all check behind them. They'll say anything. Tony is more twitch. There you go. Tony is quick but not fast. There you go. Long speed, Kadarius Tony. I don't I don't I don't see him being like a Eric Stokes or a CJ Henderson. Tony not really fast. He more shifty, says Vils. There you go. Glad you guys know your paint players. Some of these guys, they'll say somebody like Dominic Blaylock is fast. I'm like, how sway? Blaylock run like a 4-7. Henderson ran a 10-4. There you go. So you got a 10-4 and a 10-3-9. But they're virtually the same speed, right? And everybody knows CJ Henderson made one of the fastest players in college football. Georgia has that too in Eric Stokes. These guys are mirror images of each other, man. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the same exact height and weight too. <laughs> they literally look like each other out there on the field. Well, give me the height and weights for Eric Stokes and CJ Henderson. 10-4 for Campbell, 10-9 for 10-3-9 for Stokes. Oh, 10-4 for Campbell and 10 CJ, 10-4. Okay. Campbell. Damn, Campbell ran with Stokes ran. What? Damn. So you have two two guys starting at Georgia at cornerback that run a 10 two, – two guys who are technically faster than C.J. Henderson both start at Georgia at cornerback. And people are saying the defense – like that's what I'm saying, man. You got to know your personnel. Georgia's defense is extremely fast. It's just a different way of getting it done. Y'all going to get sick of seeing them savage pads today. They better – all right, Stokes 6'1", 185. Let me get it for um your boy uh CJ Double A. CJ 6'1. All right, so they both the same height. CJ is smarter though. At what? Campbell's the uh Stokes is the one who's been playing the better ball this year. So what is he smarter at? Henderson 6'2, 202. Says who? What is David Tillman at? David Tillman we might have to block you if you're wrong, bro. 
I've never, I don't think I've seen him listed at 6'2 before. You could be right, but I don't think I've seen that. Where is he getting this from? He's probably somewhere on some weird ass website. This man, this man getting his height and his height and weights from a porn website. <laughs> you may be having a different CJ Henderson, bro. Nakia says Campbell is fast. Well, I'll tell you about Nakia. I told you Nakia be gone sometimes. Gone off that woody, woody. Reading plays and angles. He can't, he's having trouble tackling. He's having trouble actually uh, living up to the billing this season. So I think you're being a Johnny fan. Derek Stokes has had zero troubles this year. He's been 6'1, 186, says CJ. That's what I thought too. Henderson, 6'1, 202 per Gators roster. But everyone's saying he's 6'1. Where did this dude get the 6'2 from? Come on, David, tell me what, what you're doing. So both are 6'1. Trying to find exotic coconut juice. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? 6'1, 202. Campbell, 6'2, 185. Yeah. Stokes, 6'1, 185. And Campbell's inch taller and weighs the same as Stokes, man. Campbell is slight. Them boys can run, man. Those are some, those are probably the three of the fastest corner in the, corners in the entire country. The hell is Noah Miller dude talking about? They ain't even played Georgia yet. You talking about them playing LSU in the SEC championship game? Come on, bro. David Tillman says, sorry about the inch. That's why I had to tell a lot of the chicks too, you know what I'm saying? No, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm in mean the extra, the extra. Oh, come on, man. I set myself up. Oh. <laughs> Set myself up. I'm mean, the extra. That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta pause. I gotta pause it. Damn. <laughs> All right. You think Dan worked up some magic from the previous bye week? Um. You know he's gonna come with something. Let's be honest here. You know they're gonna try something, right? Will it succeed or will it just be an explosive play? I think all the the trick plays and all that and stuff like that. I think are kind of overblown. So when they do the trick play and get a 50-yard gain, they have to kick a field goal. I and mean, everybody goes, wow. Like, is it going to score or what? That flea flicker last year, that Felipe Franks miss, that was dope, right? It was it was timed perfectly. Richard LeCount bit like he always bit. He would have completed that. Then maybe the game's a little bit different. You start out like that, right? But as far as his thing, though, is finding matchups. Like, who's a matchup that he can exploit, right? Very hard to say who you can exploit on Georgia's defense. My guess would be Tyson Campbell if he's out there. For one, he's an injured, all right? So he's got to get back into the flow of things. And if he's not in there, DJ Daniel, that's the matchup. That's what I would be afraid of from a Georgia fan if he targets those guys with a guy like Van Jefferson, for real. They could eat. He can eat. And the same thing, who can combat Kyle Pitts? Do they have a guy? Is it Tay Crowder? Tay Crowder can match up physically, right? He's faster than me. He's probably faster than Kyle Pitts. He's 6'3", 230, right? He's very much built like a Dylan Moses. Maybe that's the guy. Maybe that's the Kyle Pitts killer. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Murph, I'm sorry. I came up short. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I knew y'all was going to go that way with it. I meant the extra, the extra edge. Come on, man. Anyone, one versus one versus Pitts is getting exploited. We'll see, man. We'll see. Ain't like Kyle Pitts has played every single person in the country. Maybe there's somebody that out there that can do him in. I want to see Xavier McKinney. That's my dude right there. That's my, my favorite player in college football right there. It is. That inch slip up had to be Murph because Murph wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's had to, I knew that. Let's, why you had to, you know what I'm saying? Why you had to super chat about it, though? Y'all taking it that way. That's because y'all was doing it. It was ambiguous, but I didn't mean it that way. Y'all can take it how you meant. I know what I was talking about. Kirby better prove he can coach today, says Nakia. <laughs> Damn, that's all. Cleveland goes off today. Oh, Tyree Cleveland. I was like, Ben, Big Ben Cleveland going off? I was like, that's that's going to be gangster. He's going off on Jabari Zaniga. But Tyree Cleveland goes off? Hmm. Hmm. Tyree Cleveland have to – are they going to push the ball downfield? All right, so this is what I had right going against one of these dudes in the comment section. 
I said it before. So he was getting mad, right? In the in the in the, the 20 minute piece, right? I said that I like Felipe Franks' deep ball better than Kyle Trapp. So he took this. This is what fans do, right? Or people in the comment section on YouTube. You say that one aspect, and they'll bloviate that shit and be like, oh, you said Felipe Franks is better than Kyle Trask. I didn't say that. I said his deep ball. Every other aspect of it besides running, I would take Kyle Trask. But I've seen Felipe Franks hit deep balls before. Maybe not at a great clip, but I've only seen one from Kyle Trask. I want people right here to really say right now, outside of the Tennessee game to, what was that, to Swain, what deep ball has he hit? And I'm not talking about a 60-yard catch and run, one where the ball traveled through the air 40 yards or whatever like that, that he hit someone in stride. Jacob Copeland was a 50-50 ball, right? He didn't hit Jacob Copeland style. Jacob Copeland jumped up, caught the ball, and then ran it in. What deep ball has he hit for him, you know what I'm saying, for this dude to have been, you know what I'm saying, spazzing out on me like that? Charles Davis says, Franks can throw it out of the stadium. Didn't see one against LSU or South Carolina, just be Wyman. Where's that? I wish that dude was in here. You have explained you even explained that in the video. I I don't know what to tell people. When you I can put something in the video, people I don't think people watch, to be honest with you. That's what it is. Dude said, Did you already make your pick? So this dude right here is, is once he's like, Murph, please spaz out on me. Do you watch uh content? Watch the content, bro. That's all I gotta say. I did a big ass 20 minute video yesterday. Picks are made on Thursday, but I didn't do a pick on Thursday, right? I did this and, and did even better than that. I gave you straight up when and why and how and all this and that in a 20-minute video. The only UF slash UGA film study you'll need to watch. Larry says, real football heads watch to the end. I thought real men watched to the end, but I'll take that too. Real men watch to the end. That makes you a real football head. Trask is a game manager, maybe a little more. I don't like that game manager term. I think when people... I think that people, um, you don't remember me making a pick. That mean, that means you didn't watch to the end. Like, what you talking about? If you didn't watch to the end, um, somebody named something that I should hit myself in the head with. That's what I want to do sometimes. I'm like, man, if I knock myself out, I don't have to. I don't have to get mad. Trask is a game manager. Game manager code for average QB. That's what I'm saying. People, I don't like that game manager term. I don't like it. Trash is going to manage to ruin Kirby's career. <laughs> a job says a Dr. Pepper can. Dang, I wish I had one on me. I'd hit myself in the head with Dr. Pepper can. I'd be bleeding and everything, but I'd be knocked out. But then, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to. Some people talking about something. I didn't hear something. It's a video, bro. Watch it. Mullen is the manager, bro. Franks has a better arm than Trash, but Trash is a better all around thrower. Definitely. But it remains to be seen if he throws the deep ball better than. Felipe Franks. And that's not saying Felipe Franks is some kind of crazy deep ball thrower. We do know he has the arm strength, and we've seen him hit deep balls. I can only literally name one. And this dude was going. He said, it's not even close. Kyle Trask is a way better deep ball thrower than Felipe Franks. I'm like, no, he's a better, like, mid-distance thrower and definitely better with the quick game, and he makes quicker decisions. But what does that have to do with that one particular aspect, the deep ball? I think Tom Brady killed Jay Cutler in every aspect of quarterbacking, but Jay Cutler can throw the hell out of a deep ball. How this dude get through with that, man? And y'all, y'all just deleting. Like, come on, man. I'm gonna start getting start with the, the thing, man. Don't let people come with just get them up out of here. I don't know what you guys don't understand about that. What does Fromm have to improve on for the NFL? Not a damn thing. He's NFL, he's ready right now. He's ready right now. I don't understand what people say. What can he possibly improve on? We're gonna say he can throw a better deep ball. Give him some deep ball people to throw to throw to. Who's the deep ball guy that he's been throwing to? Does he have one? We know that he can um we know that he can deal in the mid distance and quick. He throws the ball outside the numbers, everything. He's great with his P snap reads. Uh he's great with adjusting protections and getting them in and out of the right play or the wrong play or into the right play. Like what can what can you really say? Like people are just going to hate on the kid. That's all it is right there. I'm be honest with you, I can't wait for him to go to go to the NFL so they can talk about something else. Merch showed in the video, Trask has plenty of arm strength. I did, for sure. I'm big mad about what? And what is big mad? I always see when people say shit like that, that's like, you're like 13 or something like that. What am I big mad about? You, you haven't learned my personality yet? What am I big mad about? I'll go from ranting and then read the thing and be smiling. Like, this is how I talk. 
Jake Fromm would be amazing with a good OC. Sriracha, what up? Fromm doesn't trust his wide receivers. Would you? Who? Who's um? Uh, who has the experience? I bet you you saw the trust that he had in Jeremiah Holloman that he was developing. This would be not an issue if Gerald Ho Maya Holloman hadn't got in trouble and got kicked off the team. It wouldn't. Oh, he was backing me up. But what am I big mad about? Oh, I'm big mad about the people not watching the video. I missed your super chat. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Murph, just got here. What was talked about so far? <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> you want me to go back through all the stuff that we talked about in two hours? Man, we talked about every almost every single aspect of this Georgia and Florida game. So no songs have been on turn. We even talked about what people were drinking today. So uh, top billing pregame, that's what I'm talking about. Jermaine King in the house. What up, Jermaine? People act like we had Holloman and really our offense would look the same. It would not. It, I don't think it would look this. I still think it's not. It's poorly constructed from from um from James Coley, but obviously it will look better with the better receivers that you have. And those guys are veterans. Didn't want to ask a past question. Oh, it's going to be tough for you not to ask something that people have already asked, to be honest with you. People have asked any and everything. We talked about matchups like um, Jabari Zaniga going against Ben Cleveland and going against uh, Kate Mays. We talked about John Grenard going against Andrew Thomas. We talked about can Amari Bernie get off blocks. Uh, we talked about the same thing with David Reese. Uh, we should have said something about Ventura Miller, man. That's one of my favorite Florida players right there, man. I think Ventura Miller has the goods. He's a very athletic linebacker. Uh, we talked about who was fat, the fastest cornerbacks, and they we pulled the receipts. Eric Stokes runs a, a 10, uh, I think he runs a 10 3 9, and so does Tyson Campbell for Georgia. And CJ Henderson runs a 10 4 0, three of the fastest cornerbacks you'll ever see, all in the same game. Murph, in your opinion, is there anyone on UJ defense? who needs more playing time. Do you think Tyree Stevenson help out more? Uh, someone who needs more playing time, that would be Aziz Ojolari. I think taking him out and putting in guys like Nolan Smith at this particular point in time is reckless. I've seen plenty of fabricated pressure schemes where they have Nolan Smith in the game and uh, Aziz is on the bench. Now, they kind of rectified that against Kentucky. I noticed he played a lot more, but why? Why? What are your thoughts on George Pickens? Uh, I'm confused. Quay Walker. They, thank you, Reggie. Reggie's got my back. Quay Walker needs more playing time. He He's the one that needs more playing time. I think he's the good. Like, what, what am I supposed to say besides the George Pickens stuff that I did? You know what I'm saying? I got what I did two straight weeks on George Pickens, right, when he was first coming in. Y'all know that. I think he's a pretty good player. Lamar Stevens in the house of the LSU Super Chat on a non-LSU day. If Grenard is still fresh in the fourth, Georgia is done. He can be fresh in the fourth. He still has to go against Andrew Thomas. <laughs> what does that mean? Andrew Thomas is a top five draft pick. He done seen everything. He done played against Alabama, Auburn, Notre Dame, all these great pass rushers and everything like that. So I don't know. I think you're you you you're playing um you're playing like a blanket statement game. He's going to be going against a guy who's every bit – I'm not even his equal. Andrew Thomas is a better offensive lineman than – John Grenard is a better pass rusher. And that's saying a lot because John Grenard is a great pass rusher. But Andrew Thomas is solidified, right? We don't know that. Nobody knew that much about John Grenard, and he's been injured, right? So he's probably, what, four or five games into people really knowing what he can do. Andrew Thomas has been starting since he was a true freshman. He was a true freshman starter in the national championship game going against Terrell Lewis and guys like that at Alabama. He's played Alabama twice. Uh, he played Auburn twice. He's going against all these people. Like, come on, you, you, you're crazy. Now, not to say that he can't have success against Andrew Thomas or anything like that, but I think just assuming that he's going to kill Andrew Thomas to me sounds kind of reckless. Bogle will play a big part for Florida. Why will Bogle play a big part for Florida, Brandon? I'm a huge Chris Bogle fan. He's one of my favorite young uh, players in the game. But why would he play a big part? Is it because you don't think John Grenard is going to be healthy enough? Do you think Zamir will play out like we thought or hoped? Also, do you think Zamir has been limited for, maybe for pass pro or trust issues? No, man. Jameer White is freaking five or six games into his entire career while Brian Heron is a senior. <laughs> Zamir, uh, uh, Philly Flyer is a junior. Like, why can't you guys, why you guys got to always ride? Stop dick eating everybody that's a, that's a freshman, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing it. Brian Heron is balled out. What has he done that? That Zamir White has, has what has Zamir White done that Brian Heron hasn't already done? For real. 
and he's a senior. Let your seniors play. This guy, he could have transferred or anything. He's he balled out in Kentucky. Every time he plays, he balls out. So I don't see no reason why you would do anything besides play a guy like Brian Harry, right? Now you can get Zamir White some reps, but why does he need to play over Brian Harry? His time will come next season. It will be his entire team. Susie K in the house. One key today. UF has to tackle well today, especially at the line. Swift gets 50%, 54% of his yards after contact. So think about it. He's getting 54% of his yards after contact. And then the other, what, the other 46% of the time, they can't touch him. Because he because he muscle relaxes you into a coma. That's hard. Mr. Good Plier says, exactly. I trust Herring. I don't know. People just always so so hung, sprung on whatever is new. Sprung. Like from the 90s. Y'all sprung. Sprung on whatever is new. Brian Herring is the truth. And Rambo. What are you and Rambo talking about? I'm not going to read that name, Rambo. You have has a better loss and better wins. Do You have a better loss. A loss is a loss. I don't give a damn how you lose. <laughs> I hate when people say that. Oh, yeah, we lost better than you lost. A loss is a loss. You play to win the game. What's the best way Florida can utilize Kendarius Tony to get a big play today? He got to do what he got to do. He runs reverses. He's a gadget guy. He runs reverses, maybe getting some inside stuff like that. I don't think they're going to – I don't think they're going to throw the ball downfield to Kendarius Tony. That doesn't even really seem to be his game. All right, so he's a ground, he's a ground attack guy, right? Swings, screens, hitches, maybe a slant or something like that. But I don't think 60 yards down the field, he's catching a football over someone. I've I've yet to see it. At least I've yet to see it. Maybe y'all have seen it. I don't know. Hopefully, Logan Cement Shoes Forsyth doesn't get embarrassed. No, he's stone feet Forsyth. Think anyone will have an unexpected big game today? An unexpected big game from whom? Hmm. Who could have a breakout game? It would have to be somebody that we're not expecting much of. So maybe these, maybe one of these safeties steps up and makes some good plays. Maybe Brad Stewart or someone like that. All right. Other than that, I'm not expecting much from from Florida safeties. They need to find themselves some high level elite safeties, and maybe one already on team and trading. Like I said a million times. So if they could attract one of these sick ass safeties, imagine if you put imagine if Grant Delpit was on uh, Florida's team right now and how much that would change the scope of his team or Xavier McKinney. I've been in out knee order info on that five. I sure. Do you have three X? Yeah, I have any size that you would want. Obviously I don't have them in stock, but I would just order the shirts and then we make it from there. So you guys can choose any size that, that you would want. So the uh, info is PayPal is Murph Baldwin at gmail.com, but you can email me shirts at 30 bucks. You can also cash app it to Murph Baldwin or dollar sign Murph Baldwin. But you would tell me your size and then tell me your um, address and stuff. And we get on that. Sean Davis shows up sometimes. He does, man. He has some some really good plays, but he's kind of inconsistent to me with his tackling. What are other matchups Florida is looking for on against Georgia from what standpoint? Right. Life is not all about offense. So are we talking about defense? Are they trying to look for something to exploit on defense? Because one thing that they should – Southern Buck, all right, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. As always, Southern Buck. One thing that is, they should exploit is Trey Hill at center for Georgia. I think he's super suspect offense. I don't want to talk about offense these times. So I'm going to give you all something. To, this is how I teach you all how to learn football. Don't always think about offense. Defensively, you can exploit some shit, and that could change the scope of the game as well. Trey Hill is out there looking suspect as hell at center for Georgia. The other four guys, right? Maybe the right guard situation, 70, 80% good. The other three spots, Isaiah Wilson, I think he's A1 solid. Maybe he can be beat with some speed, but he's a monster in the run game. And he's pretty decent at pass protection. The left and the right, left guard and the left tackle, the best shit you'll see in the country. You're not going to find a better combination in the country between Andrew Thomas and Solomon Kenley playing together right there, right? They are the two best players at their respective positions in the entire country. But that center spot and then running with wraps and twists and, and, and the um, TE stunts and everything like that, it's been killing the right in the, in the the right guard in the center. You start running them wraps and twists, them Dr. Pressure Johns on them, 
I think you'll frustrate the hell out of um Jake Fromm like that because you'll get pressure in his face that way because for some odd reason, Trey Hill cannot come back a twist or a wrap for sure. Florida center needs better snaps. That's another thing right there. Your boy Nick Buchanan, he got them, them skyrocket snaps. No, no doubt, ABC kids. Murph, I love Sean Davis, just not durable. I like Sean Davis too, man, but I think it goes beyond his durability issues. I think his tackling, man. He was the guy. Who was the guy when Clyde Edwards was hilarious, broke that long ass run against Florida? Who was the, the last line of defense that could have stopped it? At the very least, get a hand on him, man. He didn't even get a hand on him. What was that? 67 yard touchdown from a slowest, the slowest running back in the country? Sean takes bad angles, says Mr. Slap Happy. Florida safeties are suspect in tackling. They're all suspect. That's the thing about it. At least you can have one guy. Like Richard LeCount is suspect in tackling, but J.R. Reed is not. So maybe you scheme it to keep Richard LeCount from tackling. But Steiner can't tackle. Brad Stewart is suspect at tackling. Sean Davis has been suspect at tackling. Jawan Taylor seems to be – what's wrong with Jawan Taylor? They, I mean, uh, they don't seem to want to play him anymore. Like, what's, what's going on with him? Should Dean play safety? I'm telling you, we're going to go through this, man. Where's that? I wish I could find that. Somebody find that Trey Dean uh, video that I did, right? Just let these these Kadeen play safety. Like, I literally... Uh, Taylor is always out of position, says Charles Davis. So, there's four safeties that you think are suspect at tackling. Kyle Pitts, no said. Thanks for what you do. Hey, Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts is the truth, man. Taylor can't get right. He's like the dude in life. Mr. Can't get right. Jangalang, jangalang. Was that, was that can't get right? He's like, jangalang, jangalang. Bogle will allow the other pass rushers to move around and still keep a man to contain those edges. Now, I don't think I don't think that um, Chris Bogle is some type of edge container right now. He may be a little bit too light in the loafers for that to be his deal, especially going against Andrew Thomas. But I do find him to be kind of refreshing and maybe some inside moves going against the run and then rushing the passer itself. But having him anchor a run game, I'm confused. Taylor has to be 33 years old by now. Yeah, Jawan Taylor's been in. Jawan Taylor played with uh, Reggie Nelson. He was on the other side of Reggie Nelson. Would you say that the would you would you say the better QB O line and running backs are at UGA, but UF has the better offense overall? No, I would say that Florida has a better passing offense. UGA has a better overall offense. But with Florida's passing, is very efficient and it's very deep and it's very imaginative. So that's what makes um, you think that I guess they would have a better overall. But he can't run better and it does not have a good offensive line. So that's two aspects right there that it's missing. But if we're talking about and we know that the quarterbacks, at the very least, you can say they're equal, right? That would cancel itself out. So it would just be the wide receivers versus the O-line and the running backs. I think Georgia has a better overall offense. Florida probably has a chance to be a little bit more explosive, though, because they have guys who can run after the catch, whereas I don't really see that. We have not yet seen it from Georgia. Not trying to say that we will never see it. We have yet to see it. Any chance of a blowout? It's so which team? Which team? I don't think – I don't think – there's a chance for anything in football, man. I just don't see it happening. If someone did blow a team out, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see somebody blowing Georgia out. I really don't. And even LSU didn't blow Florida out. Florida can score, so I don't know. I don't really see a blowout happening, but anything's possible. And this goes for all these other teams, too. I think Georgia's a good we'll, – we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. And he's, where we at? We're slowing down. Florida, you can't run the ball or tackle well, says Logan Miller. Chandler says, where do I get the Fab Five shirt? Most people who ask like that aren't serious, to be honest with you. I think that you've seen me, if you, unless you literally just came on here, I thought I've already said said this. Birthbaldwin at gmail.com is is the PayPal. Right there. Birthbaldwin at gmail.com. Shirts are $30. Let me put that again. So, anybody watching, shirts are $30. PayPal payment. Put your um, size and address in the description. 
Shirts $30 PayPal payment to Murphball at gmail.com. Georgia will win the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, says Pat Eli. Pat L. Lester says free Sam Carter. What happened to Sam Carter? No, I know they didn't block Sam Carter. You can't block Sam Carter. Like he's he's one of us. He's weird. Oh man, Sam's blocked. He's not blocked, is it? JR Fly blocked Sam Carter? No, JR Fly, you can't do that, bro. He's literally a member of the website. Oh, shit. He's probably gonna be mad in a moment, gentlemen. Hey, let's go in there on um on um Damn, how are we going to unblock him? I can unblock him after we finish here. I have to go back through an unmanual unblock. Hey, but go into the Discord lesson and tell him we apologize for that. Hey, this is the funniest shit right here when people come, right? They said they come with this generic shit that everybody talks about, and they think that it's some type of new thing. So this Colin Myers person. Y'all realize when Fran throws the ball over 30 times a game, Jordan's 0-5? No, no one's ever heard of that before. Is there? Can you think outside of yourself, though? If he's throwing the ball 30 times, that means shit has gone wrong. They don't do that. That's not what they do. They're not built for that, right? You know what? Allow him to throw the ball 30 times like some of these other players against, at the very least, Murray State or, or Vandy and all these teams that they whoop their ass, right? They stop throwing the ball, right? He'll throw 14 times. He'll throw 17 times. They'll pull him. They'll just run the ball. They'll put the backup in, right? They could be... They could be he could be 15 and five if that were the case, right? I seen Tua throwing the ball against um he had like 36 throws. It was a crazy game. They were beating them. The, the, the old miss. It was two minutes left in the game. Tua still throwing the ball around. They don't do that at Georgia. <laughs> I don't, why is nobody pointing that out? Like, what does Owen Five got to do anything? They're built to run the ball. If they, he's throwing the ball like that, something has gone wrong. They're not built. To come back that in that way, throwing the ball because they don't have any explosive players that way. Alabama could do it. Uh, LSU could do it. Maybe Florida could do it as well. They have catch and run players. Devontae Smith can take a a hitch ninety yards. Henry Ruggs, I've seen him taking it screen passes ninety yards. Right. So stop throwing just blind stats out. I'll, I'll, I'll stop doing that fine bomb shit. I noticed that Paul Fine Bomb does that same type of shit. Y'all got to stop acting like that, dude. And Rambo says Bam is one dimensional. I don't know about that, bro. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know about that. And uh, I think the running game's coming on for Alabama pretty pretty decent. That one dimension is hard to stop, though. I don't I don't think it is. I mean, I I, I think, definitely think the one dimension is hard to stop, but I, I actually think that they're running the ball a little bit better. Props to Najee Harrison and Brian Brian Robinson as well. They've been doing pretty good. I gotta give credit where credit credit is due. Fine Bond could learn from top billing. Now, you don't got to learn from me. He could just learn from just anybody in general. Like, stop freaking throwing out blind stats. Leaf, if you if you come with something like there's always a converse to anything that you say. So I'm thinking something like that. The first thing I'm going to think is, why? Why would this happen, right? Because you're only doing that in comparison to someone else. Other people's teams are built differently. Some of these teams, maybe if they had to run the ball a lot of times, they would lose. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, some teams are just built differently. Learn from actually watching the game, says Jal. I've never seen Fine Bomb do film study like Todd Billing. Well, that's not his thing. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody needs to do film studies, right? But you can still have a, a vast understanding of football without doing film studies. Kadri is going to play. What health percentage are we likely to see? No idea, bro. No idea. I do know that... Um, that he'll be a nice little outlet right there. At the very least, you can throw the ball up to him and have him attempt a 50-50, a 50-50 ball. Fine bomb is clickbait. Ain't he though? Is Jordan Davis and Tyson Campbell available for UGA today? Damn, I forgot about Jordan Davis. And Jordan Davis wouldn't start at a place like Auburn. He starts at Georgia. And Jordan Davis playing next to a Jordan Davis played next to Derrick Brown. That shit would be illegal. Someone answered uh uh, how do you say your name? Carmian? Jordan Davis is playing and starting. And Tyson Campbell is back. Red Gaming says, I haven't heard anything about Davis. All right, so we got two different different things. And it's the Kylan Myers person. This is real football talk. No script. Not at all. Nobody's telling me what to say. So everything's coming from my brain. And I'm hopefully you guys can see that I, I'm neutral. Fine Bob show is lame. I'm a Tennessee dude. I didn't mean to bring Fine Bob up so we can talk about his ass, though. 
The last person I want to talk about is Paul Fama. Tyson Campbell is healthy, but don't know if he's going to play. Damn. Is any anyone any anybody got the latest? I like to get two more opinions on that. If it's the, the latest on Tyson Campbell playing, Lonnie Life says Cager is underrated. But what is he doing? What is Cager doing? He's making 50 50 ball plays, right? Cager is like, Cager is the guy to me. If Cager is the best player on your wide receiver core, then your receiver core is not that good. He's a 50 50 ball guy. He's not making game breaking plays. You throw him the ball in the red zone area or you just throw it up to him. They need somebody like a freaking Henry Ruggs, man. I was watching the just watching the game. Go look what they did for Mac Jones. Is Mac Jones, you might think Mac Jones is that good. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But guess what? He's able to throw to Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs and these guys. They're doing tap passes and taking the ball 60 yards. Y'all see that? Literally a tap pass. They come by on a jet motion. He throws the ball one yard in front of him to Jerry Jody, Judy coming on a sweep touchdown can you do that to Lawrence Cager you can't you know what I'm saying they need shit like that I wish McCole Hartman hadn't left I think he's dope too but I think he was I don't know maybe he's, he's he was maybe this year I, I think Damn, I hope my mom's gonna do that and you should just say not dressing please don't mention nobody else's publications or platforms on my platform especially that one D Rob could be that guy if they utilize him properly. D Rob D Rob is that guy. You're right, double A, but they don't utilize him properly. But he's definitely that guy. If they were creative enough to do some of the stuff that they do with Henry Ruggs, D Rob could easily be that. But it lets you know the limitations of Coley. Get this, get this person out of here, please. Excuse me. Got a there is going to be big in the run game. Excuse me. You were asking for a couple more sources to confirm that. No disrespect. A couple more sources, meaning yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could just, if you read that, whatever, you would be like, I've heard this, or you don't need to mention the sp specific publication, especially if it's this. If it's some national publication like CBS or something like that, but if one of them dudes that's in this market that I've been in, I don't like none of them. I don't want any of them ever mentioned on my, on my platform. Because guess what? Those guys wouldn't help me out when I needed it. Now what? Now I'm balling harder than all of them. So no, they gets no respect up on this platform. And they gets no um man, I said get him up out of here. All right, we're gonna need some more. My mind's be asleep at the wheel. So I'm gonna come up with some extra some extra people to be mods this week sometime. Red gaming, that's a fact, Murph. For sure. I'm for real. Everybody knows that, right? Don't mention, don't mention the people, right? So on a on a playback, when people see that, they'll never they have never existed. So don't don't mention them. In fact, we'll just delete your message. The they get no. It's like they were just it was like they were just never here. Congrats on growing your platform, Murph. Quality rises to the top eventually. Oh, for don't be, don't get it twisted now. Nah. I was right. I was at the to me, perhaps the best spot you can be in this media, right? I was working at the Rivals UGA site. But guess what? None of them dudes would help me, you know what I'm saying, when it was popping or whatever like that. And all them dudes, y'all know how that shit ended. But now, look, them dudes try to be up on here too. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> so I always, I always find life funny like that. I wanted to branch out and do my own thing or whatever like that, and I and, and I couldn't do it. And I was being a malcontent or whatever. and and, and not a team player and all this and shit like that. Now, look, the exact platform that I wanted to branch out and do my own thing to, they're trying to do it. And you have your own fucking platform, right? You're on one of the biggest platforms in the world. Why are you over here? Why was it a problem when I wanted to do it? That's how, that's how shit happens, right? I may say back to Florida, Georgia talk. Won't you super chat, Vince? Then we'll be back to Florida, Georgia talk. We, uh, you don't run nothing here, bro. All right, where we at? And he got Tom Dog. He Tom Dog. People are threatened by competition. Uh, I'm not. I don't find anybody to be competition. You know why? Because I'm not paying attention to anyone, anyone else, right? I only concentrate on myself. I don't know what no one else is doing, but guess what? These people all know what I'm doing. They all, you know what I'm saying, be watching my shit. 
All right, so anything else left to talk about this? I think we've cooked this bad boy, man. I don't. I told you I was going to give you all some masterful coverage this week. I streamed a few times this week. Uh, got mad content out and everything like that. Even did the 20-minute breakdown. So I think we cooked this beef. Anything left? Chat says I ain't got no comp. I don't know if I do or if I don't. One last topic says Red Gaming. What you got? Daniel Garrett says, do you, Murph? Thank you, Daniel. All right, Murph, I got to go to the comic book store before the game. I'm out. Thanks for the stream. All right, Doc, for sure. Make sure you get one of them um, old school X-Men, Jones. Which coach you like better? I like Dan Mullen better. That's my guy. Just say five of the last six meetings in this game were won by the highest rank. What ranking do they typically refer to? Highest rank? I would say the – I would have to imagine that they were referring to the, the AP poll or whatever, right? So that would be Florida, right, the highest ranked team? Usually, if you're the highest ranked team, you're probably the better team, right? That thing is a little bit different when one is like six and one is eight. That means you're probably even, but you probably had some month, some days where Florida was one and Georgia was 24, or Georgia was two and Florida was 19. And those are two totally different teams right there. So, this is kind of a pick them when six and eight. You're not talking about Auburn. Get the hell up out of here. Am I doing a stream at halftime? It's a possibility, man. It's a possibility. I'll see what I can do for you guys. I read that Tyson is back practicing, but I can't find anything that confirms he's playing. Damn, I'm let down by this. I actually thought he was back. We'll see how the game is going in. I might jump in at halftime to see what you boys are doing. Man, him practicing is one thing. I want, I want him to play. I want to see everybody at their best. I want Kadarius Tony and Jabari Zaniga back. That's would be hard as hell. That's why I like some of these games. I wish some of these dope ass games were the first game of the season where everybody's playing, or at least the second. Pre-game stream was live. Thank you, boss. Sorry, Sam Carter. This is JR Fly. Damn. Uh, Les, did you contact Sam Carter? Last I heard, Campbell will dress but not start. Oh, if he doesn't have to start. Is he going to play? Thanks, Murph. Always coming in through the clutch. All right. Kyle, what is that? A handshake? I've never seen that before. That's dope. This is Alex person. It's killing me. We're not talking about we're we're literally a uh, one hour and thirty minutes away from Georgia, Florida. And you're talking about some some recruit? Like, what is that gonna do for you, bro? We're talking about the Georgia, Florida game. That should be the last thing on your mind. Uh oh. We good? Let's get it to two seventy five. If you out there and you ain't already done it, man, please hit the thumbs up for your boy before I get up out of here. All right, Jal, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Manish. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one right here. It was, I was, I was feeling good. Florida ranked six and Georgia eight. Florida's a six point five underdog. So Florida's the underdog in this game, really? See, I never pay attention to stuff like that. I didn't. I, I thought Florida would be the favorite in this game. Yep, time to get some beer. Almost game time, says Zachary. I forget which beer you said you had, Zachary. Campbell played, but Daniel is starting. As long as he plays, I'm I'm good with that. I don't really care who starts. All right, Corey. Where we at, though? Let me get the thumbs up. Be Wyman, as always, man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. You've redeemed yourself from our or whatever we had before. I'm about to check back on it. I know we had some we had a squabble. But you've been uh pretty good, man. I throw you a shine next week with the LSU Alabama content. What the heck is wrong with my mother? She did it again. Oh, boy. Moms never listen, right? You try to raise them when you're a kid and you're raising your mother. Like, mom, do the right thing. The right thing is to not be on the stream, mom. You see all the stuff we was talking about? Hopefully you did not see any of the stuff we was talking about. Get off the stream, mom. What's wrong with you? Give me the thumbs up, everybody. Mom, you probably not even hitting the thumbs up. I know you. You probably just literally sent in a thumbs up. Did you actually hit the thumbs up button, mom? Now you're out. No, mom. Hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Here we go, here we go. Players who make me worry, Daniels and Landers. We ain't even mentioned Matt Landers the entire lead up to this game. Maybe, I don't know. Matt Landers, you would say, is a guy who's super explosive, right? He's got some serious wheels. A six foot five guy with some serious wheels. Suppose the light bulb comes on for a guy like that, right? But now we see him, he's mistiming uh, deep balls that are on the money. He's running the wrong routes and allowing Jake Fromm to throw an interception that people didn't watch the game. So they're like, Fromm threw an interception. He threw three of them. Uh, no, one was on Matt Landers running the wrong freaking route. 
I don't know. I would like to see a kid like that break out, though, man. He's got a ton of talent. He's drinking a White Claw. Cager playing. I heard Cager, just from the people in the chat, they said that Cager is playing. Corey Smith, top billing. Dang, we balling, man. Let's get it, man. Get it to 300. I'm going to slide in Murph's mom's DM. You going to slide in my mom's DMs? Hey, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. <laughs> you slid in there maybe 30 years ago. <laughs> 30, years, 30 years ago, maybe. I don't know if you want me sliding in mom's DMs right now. I'm still going to knock you the hell out, though, even for even mentioning that, though. All right, damn, Zachary, you did it twice? Let's go. Let's go. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, Zachary, I think you've gone too far in life. Now you um now you're asking to be blocked. I'm going to drink a whole case of white claws watching this game. Man, what is white claws? What does it taste like? Is it a like a, a sweet drink or what is it? Some hard liquor? Thank you, Daniel. Interested to see if Emery gets more play now, Tony healthy. That's a deadly combo on the option. That is a hard combo. Hard. Man, what would happen if that dude didn't get kicked? What was his name? The quarterback that um Chris Steele conveniently used as an excuse to leave to go to USC. What was his name? Jalen something. That dude has some wheels. All right, Zachary. Turner. I don't drink, but I should. It says Robert. I'll be thinking, thinking the same time. Every time I do one of these live streams, I'm like, man, I mean, I need to become a drinker. No laws when you're drinking the claws. Whoa. White claw equals pause. That's a female drink. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. White claws, y'all drinking them female drinks. Okay. Maybe he's not trying to get toe up from the flow up. What up, Carlos? Pom pom drink says less. White claws. The dude that said, What up, Ty Billing? Hold you hit the thumbs up for me, bro. Charles David, thanks, Murph. You got the answers. I ain't got the answers, Sway. I thought you were close to drinking the other night. You were so frustrated. <laughs> I was super frustrated. I'm not gonna lie. I was the, we, that first stream when I first uh, when we first moved in on um Wednesday or whatever it was, Tuesday or something. Oh my god! I definitely if, if somebody would have handed me some type of drink, I probably would at least taken a sip. I was super frustrated. Corey said, "What's the topic of con the topic of conversation? Is you just got here, so hit the thumbs up button." Hit that thumbs up. White car is liquid splendor. <laughs> Y'all drinking that liquid splendor? How you feel about UJ's O line in today's game? What am I supposed to feel about it? It's one of the best in the country. You got to prove it, though. Get it to 300. They said get it to 300 likes. I know we can do it. Uh, I think it's, just, it's got multiple NFL players on it. it, it it's. Uh, Halftime score is 13 to 13. Hey, that'll be dope. Y'all give me y'all's halftime score. We'll come back and check. What's the halftime score for y'all? Robert says 13 to 13. Getting the TV. LeBron James. He's talking about who? Kyle Pitts? 13 to 6, Florida at the half. 14 to 10 says extreme weather. 13 to 13, Gators at the half. 17 to 14 says Vicky. And it's pretty high scoring halftime. 17 to 10, Alex. 7 to 3. All right, it's popping out. 24 to 3, Florida at the half. If that happens, I would fire everyone on the spot if they're 24 to 3 at the half. Uh, 27 to 46, Gaming with Jalen. Oh, so, oh, okay. Gaming with Jalen says, uh, block me. Uh, 14 to 10, Danny. Says Danny, 17 to 10, Florida. 14 to 10, 10. Damn, there's a lot of Gator peoples up in here. Damn, this is like 90% Florida. That's crazy. And none of y'all bought a shirt. Y'all, y'all some wanksters. 14 to 13, Florida. 17 to 13, Florida. I said I'm a pro at the streaming. I don't know about pro at the streaming, but I'm a pro at them film breakdowns. 17 to 13 at the half for Florida. 14 to 7. Dang. 17 to nothing, dogs. If that happens, um, uh, somebody needs to get punched in the head. Somebody get Carlos Rios out of here. He had came in. I, I, I felt like he needed to be blocked as soon as he came, the minute he came in. He just looked blockable. 14 to 10, UGA. 
13 to 10 UGA. Let's start up here making picks. Block the dude who I said block. They thank you less. Tony says two to three UF. He's putting a smaller number. He's putting a greater number second. Tony P has Splenda in his tank. 21 to 14 UF at the half. LJ says 24 to 14 UGA at the half. Jarvis says 14 to 7 Florida. I cannot believe how much many Florida people in here. And put the, the greater number second. Oh, I'm sorry. And says Jake Front career day. 20 out of 26, 360 yards and four TDs against a Florida defense. If he does that, I don't want to hear no nothing else ever again disrespectful about Jake Front. That may be a little ambitious there, and Y'all tripping. 9 to 6 UGA at the half. 10 to 7, toss left. So it's third boxing. What does that mean? I toss left. And can I get a puff of what you go, what you doing there? No, I think Am said she was on the drinking, right? When she part of the drinking squad. And said she was drinking um kerosene fluid. What's your team? Or anybody that anybody watching this and you come in and you ask me what's my team, uh just know that you're being blocked. Talk football, not talk family. 13 and 7 UGA. Have you got to put the <laughs> Come on, what's wrong with these dudes? 13 to 7 UGA has says Vinny Vinny P. That sound that 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 probably sounds kind of close right there, to be honest with you. I'm not sure who would be up at the half, but 13 and 7 does sound like more of a I don't know, some of these crazy 20, like 24 points at the half. Man. If Florida could put 24 points up on Georgia's defense at the half, that's hard. Not sure about the score, but I'm sure LeCount will extend his streak of consecutive tackles above the opponent's shoulders. <laughs> Dang, he's tackling your neck. That's gangster. <laughs> neck collaring. All right, y'all. Oh, I thank you for a lively chat, man. Try to uh, get some stuff done here before the game. I <laughs> absolutely can't wait. Um, I'll see what's popping. Maybe I'll pop in at halftime. Maybe I'll come back after the game and we can chat about it. That's what I probably do. I might do both. You know what I'm saying? I'm in. A, I'm in a giving mood, baby. I'm in. A, I'm in a good mood, baby. When I moved out here, got this great ass house and stuff. I'm feeling good today, baby. So we'll see what's going on. But I appreciate everybody. Thank you for all the super chatters. I make sure you come back later and super chat some more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we can get it in like that. All right, y'all for sure. Yeah, Santa Murph. I'm feeling good, baby. But once again, man, thank y'all. I'm gonna see y'all a little bit later. Peace.